just like this. And this year, these kids are thinking these big kids aren't all that much older than they are. Throwing strikes, check. Defense, no problem. Swinging for the fences, you kidding me? And they'll be reliving every big play. That boy had a family! And every celebration. Just like their dads, their dads' dads. Because this is a baseball town. So let's see what these kids can do. Play ball! Let's get the party started. From Local 12, it's the 105th Finley Market Opening Day Parade. Now live from Fountain Square, your hosts, Bob Herzog and Sheila Gray. Oh. Happy opening day! Everybody's a kid on opening day. I'm like from generation oh, to generation, right? So good, right? We want to get things started at Finley Market, where the center of the universe is that opening bell. Adam Clements <laughs> is there. Hey, buddy, I love your shirt, man. I love Looking that shirt. Good. We'll talk about the shirt in a minute. I want to talk to our Grand Marshals really quick. Pokey Reese, how's it feel to be back home in Cincinnati, ringing that bell to start the opening day parade? It feels good. Happy opening day to everyone. And it, feel, it feels good to be back. Thank you. That 99 team was so special to be here with your teammate, Demetri Young. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. My, one of my, he's my favorite teammate, drafted the same year and ended up playing with him. So it's a great, great time. Who are you holding here? This is my son, What's Calvin Reese III, Trey. Calvin Reese III. Yeah. A little pokey. Yeah. Awesome. We'll let you Thank get you. to it. Let's talk to Demetri real quick. Uh, you're back here. Demet Hook, getting your meat hooks into that bell. You ready to ro roll things? Oh, I'm going to make a whole lot of noise. There's it, it, a lot of people out here. Noise got to be made. Opening day 2024. This is the place to be in Ohio. How does it how does it feel to be among the fans? You didn't get to experience this a lot as a player, but to be out here and to see this atmosphere, how's it feel? You know what? This could be a little overwhelming. <laughs> I, you know, you hear about the parade, but we're, we're at the stadium. We're getting ready for a game, and what the old regime, we had elephants on the field, the shots oh, yeah. on the field. So we never got to see all this, the, the power of the Reds Nation. The hoopla. Um, that 99 team was so special. Great to see you here with Pokey, your teammate from that team. We're going to let you kick things off and go ring that bell and get things started. Welcome back to Cincinnati, my friend. You, I appreciate uh, We're going to focus, turn our focus to the truck. This is how we kick things off year after year. Looks like they're about to start things. They graciously waited on us. You hear the truck fired up. Dimitri Young, Pokey Reese, and Calvin Reese the third, getting ready to kick things off here at the Findlay Market opening day parade. It's a beautiful day. We have an amazing crowd out here. Uh, they were lined up very early this morning. I know our morning reporters who are out here uh, saw that crowd and uh, it has only grown since this morning. So as we continue to gear up, it looks like we're getting ready. Here we go. Horns sounding, bells ringing. It is the start of a new season for your Cincinnati Reds. And oh, what a time it is. Take a look over here. Just want to show you the crowd. All of these fans lined up, eager with anticipation for the start of a new year. A lot of high expectations for this team as well. It's a young team, but it's a team that a lot of people have a lot of confidence in, this young core ready to do some damage in the NL Central. And we are about to kick things off. Let's walk along the side here. We got some fans. Let's talk to them. Let's talk to them. What time did you get here to secure this prime seat? At 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock this morning. Yes. Well, don't lick the microphone. You got to talk into it, buddy. Say hello. You having hello. fun? Yes. Give a wave. Guess what? Cincinnati is watching. Did you bring snacks? What did you bring? Did you reinforce? I see we got a tablet. Lemonade. We'll Lemonade. Lemonade. You got to stay hydrated on a day like this. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We got to keep that in mind, folks. Is this the best day in Cincinnati or what? The fans have spoken. Bob, Sheila, we will send it back to you. 
as we get things cooking here at Finley Market. Oh, that was great, and it's all about those kids, right? So good. That Just little so good. Calvin Reese the third little tray honking that morning. Did you see the smile? smile? Yeah. And then that young man, he was just pointing out, who tried to lick the microphone, <laughs> which, you know, it looks like an ice cream cone. Um, he, the grin on his, that is Cincinnati That's today. It. That's that is right. the symbol of Cincinnati right. today. Right, and the power of the Cincinnati Reds, as Dimitri Young said, that was, that, he couldn't have put that more perfectly. And that team, you know, we talked to Sean Casey earlier today. Yes. The mayor going to be out there throwing out the ceremonial first pitch, mm -hmm. and he talked a lot about that 1999 team. Pokey and Demetri Young, and he, he was out there, and how special a team that was, and how much this current team reminds him of them. It's going to be such a fun season. We can't wait to see him get on the uh, field at 410 this afternoon. we got to get to the forecast, though. Yeah. It's a little breezy down here. The, the Gummer. Chief. The Chief Meteorologist. The Chief is John with us. John Gum is with us right now. What hey, you, see, you see the look on that kid's face. Yes. yes. Wasn't it great? That was pure joy. <laughs> it was perfect. It was perfect. And we're going to have pretty close to perfect weather by the time we get the first pitch. When you consider the kind of weather that we could have this time of the year. Yeah. We've seen sure. days that have not made it out of the 30s. We've seen snow on opening <laughs> day multiple times, right. three inches in 1977. Today's weather, outstanding. Not too bad. Outstanding. Okay. A little not cool, a little breezy out here now, but if you're in the sun, it's not bad. By the first pitch, we're going to be into the upper 50s, and we'll settle down through the mid-50s by the final out That's tonight. That's great. Looks Just good. put your layers on. You'll be all right. Yeah, layer up like she was doing. She was got 30 layers on right now. <laughs> no, only like three. She, she was like, I need my electric vest. <laughs> hey, hey, do you want to ask her about her coat like every other single person down here has today? I complimented her on it in the hallway at Local 12 earlier this it's morning. Thank you. A thing. Thank you. So I went into Cook Sporting Goods, and I was looking around, and I couldn't find what I liked, and Chris Cook said, well, how about a varsity coat? And I said, okay, and I go over the rack. It's from Holloway in Sydney, Ohio. Wow. Look at that. It was meant to and be, they helped Sheila. me design it with the logos and everything. And I just, I love it so much. And it's unique. All, Only I have one. All of the wonderful ladies <laughs> that I work with in the morning, Gummer, we're talking yeah, about their yeah. fits for today. Yes, <laughs> their fits. That's a word <laughs> right, I learned fits. Fits in the past two weeks. And I was like, I'm going to wear the same sweatshirt I've worn for the last decade. <laughs> And you look marvelous. And it looks great God on you, bless my friend. Some God things bless never you. change. That's right. <laughs> like the your tradition in Cincinnati. Kiss to Sydney, Ohio today from yeah. the streets of Cincinnati. So glad you're with us on opening day. We'll be back with the 105th Bentley Market opening day parade in just a moment.
welcome back, everybody. It is the 105th Finley Market Opening Day Parade. And you are looking live at Finley Market, where it looks like things have gotten started. Some kids are marching down the street. And Adam is there with those crowds, but uh, we want to check in with somebody very important today. Our Chris Rankel is down. Hi, 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 hi Adam. Adam. Uh, our Chris Rankel is down at the ballpark. Now let's see who he's got with him. Hey, Chris. Hey, we got the mayor, and I'm not talking about Aftab Purival. We got Sean Casey down here. Big honor for you today. How excited yeah. are you to be back out here? And oh. it's baseball season. It feels perfect out here. Right now. Well, look at this weather, too. It's incredible. I'm so excited to be back here for opening day. I know what this means to this city and meant for us as players coming out and for, for these guys, you know, taking the field today. But to be able to throw out the first pitch, I'm, you know, grateful that Castellini's asked me to do it, and I'm really looking forward to it. Is it still the same kind of feeling on opening day you get as a former player as you did as a player? You know what? As a player, you know, I think you're, the nerves are really heightened because, you know, you, you know the expectations are high for a new season. You're all excited. The, the crowd's, you know, packed. You know, it, you're, it's really exciting. As a former player, I think you obviously don't have the pressure of going out and performing like that on the field, but you also feel the excitement and the love of this place and this city and what opening day, the history of this team and the history of opening day. So, yeah, there's an excitement as a fan that's, that's close to a player, but as a player, it's a little different. And when you talk about excitement, you talk about this team, what they did at the end of last year, all the young guys they got. Take me through, yeah. what are your expectations for this team? Well, I think, you know what, at Reds Fest this year, you could see the expectations. I mean, these guys brought back that, that passion of baseball to Cincinnati. I mean, especially, especially when Ellie De La Cruz came up and kind of, you know, the, you could feel the vibe switch and how dynamic of a player he is. But all the guys, I mean, Spencer Steer and, and uh, you know, McLean, obviously, Obviously banged up a little bit, but man, that guy's going to be one of the best players in the game. And you know, Hunter Greed, Abbott, all the guys in that rotation. You know, Jonathan India, all these guys. There's so many uh, Encarnacion, Strand. We kind of go down the list of stud young players, and I think that's what has this city so excited. When you, it's one thing to have the anticipation in preseason, the off season, putting it out on the field. Is there nerves? Or is there like take me through what it's like to go from? anticipation to actually doing it out on the field. Well, I think these guys want to get across those white lines and when they count. You know, you're at spring training for six weeks going, man, I'm getting hits and these don't count. <laughs> you know, you want to get on, you want to see what you have and you want to see if it's real. And, you know, you could tell that the Reds in 2024, the talent that they have, they want to get out on that field opening day and get this 162 grind started and see where they are at the end of September. We're going to talk about the starting lineup in a second. Where would Sean Casey bat in this lineup, you think? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I used to love to bat 3-4-5, so hopefully I'd still have some skills to be hit 3-4-5. I tell you what, when you have Griffey and Dunn in your lineup and you're still around 3-4-5, <laughs> then you're all right, you know? <laughs> Final question for me. Any nerves about the first pitch? They're expecting, you know, right over the plate. Dude, I am feeling some nerves. I'm not going to lie to you. When, when, I, when I was telling you about the players' nerves, I was like, and the guy that throws out the first pitch, he's got nerves too. So, yeah, definitely have some nerves for that. Cameras will be rolling. No pressure at all. <laughs> no pressure. He's Sean Casey. He'll be throwing out the first pitch today. As for the guys, will be on the field. Let's go to that graphic now because we have our starting lineups. And it'll start, of course, with Frankie Montez on the mound in one of his first Starts as a red in one of his many opening day starts in outfield. It's Spencer Steer, Will Benson, and Jake Fraley left to right. Jamer Candelario gets to start at third. Ellie De La Cruz at short. Jonathan India at second. Christian Encarnacion strand at first. Tyler Stevenson behind the dish. Nick Martini will be the D8. So, signing off for now from Great American Ballpark with the mayor, Sean Casey. I'm Chris Reichel. Let's send it back. I'm sure the parade is getting underway right now. It is getting underway. We're looking at uh, some video over at Findlay Market, live video is that there. Is that George? I can't tell. I think that's Dimitri Young. Is that Dimitri? It? I can't tell. I think that's From Dimitri behind Young. him, I can't tell who yeah. we're looking at. So Dimitri Young and Pokey Reese are the parade grand marshals today. Oh, that no, was there's Pokey. Dimitri. There's Dimitri. There's Dimitri. That was Pokey. Yes, yeah, Dimitri right here. Dimitri just passed through. We got our, actually our current players, Graham Ashcraft and Andrew Abbott. Let's see if we can catch up with these awesome. guys. Last I saw them, they were petting a gigantic dog. How's it feel? You're, you've been, you've done this before, haven't you? Yeah, I did this last year. How's it feel? Oh, it's great seeing everybody come out and support us. And I feel like there's a lot more people here than there was last year. So you know, it's nice to see the city behind us, and they know what we got. And it's just, it's going to be a fun ride. Beautiful weather doesn't hurt. Oh yeah, it's not too cold. You know, it feels great out, and can't complain about that. Andrew. Andrew, first timer? Yeah, first timer. How's it feel to be out here and mix it up with the fans on the biggest day of the year in Cincinnati? It's great, man. Just seeing the support we get, the city just rallying around us, you know, it, it makes it great to go to the ballpark every day. Hey, bring us home a pennant, okay? Yeah. 
If it's not too much to ask, right? Hey, check it out. We got beautiful weather. I mean, all of these fans, some of them have been lined up since about 8 o'clock this morning. We got some ladies sitting here. Let's let's check it out. You're curbing it right here. We're just we're just we right are, on the curb. We are. we are having a great time. We parked it early so we could get at the start of the parade. It's a tradition. What time did you get here? Uh, we actually are a little bit later, only 11.15. What? How did you snag this? We know the ins and outs. I love it. Great job. Have fun today. Enjoy all of this sunshine. Let's talk to Neil Lucan real quick. Neil, I got to talk to you. We're live right now. Thanks for holding things up for us so we could get the get the start of the parade again. Keep going. You, you, you keep you driving. Keep I can walk and talk. Yeah. I just won't get run I, over. I just want to tell you, I'm amazed at the people, the crowd. It amazes me every year. It's the best event that takes place in Cincinnati. It's our original Cincinnati thing. Everybody can have a Oktoberfest, but not everybody can have an opening day parade. Not like this one. No, this is unbelievable. You see, did you see Dimitri Young? Yeah. He was unbelievable thinking, what's what the hell's going on? All right. Amazed at all of these people here. You know, when you're a player, you don't get to see that. No, it's like I said, could you imagine if the Reds ever won the World Series, what this town would do? It's going to happen. Wow. Let's believe it into existence. Write it down. Yes, sir. Neil Lucan. Huge role in putting this thing together. We're going to keep mixing it up with the fans down here. Uh, Bob Sheila, for now, we'll send it back to you. I would uh, I would assume oh. it's only a few more minutes until the start of that parade makes its way down to you on Fountain Square. That's great. It's looking That's that great, way. Buddy. They got started right on time. And I, I say, speak it into existence, too. A Amen. World Series in this town, I think these kids could do it. And speaking of these kids, everything lined up perfect for this parade. We've got a lot of kids on spring break. You're coming off one of the most exciting red seasons in recent memory. Right. And the weather is sunshiny <laughs> and spectacular. I don't know if we're going to break a record in terms of people being out for the parade, but there is a lot of people out millions here. Millions and millions oh, of people are here. Oh, I'm telling well, you what. at least what. thousands and thousands of people are here. And, and you, you know, know what? You know where they're going to head after this. The big crowd is yes, already over at the banks, and a lot of these people right here will be heading your way, Chelsea Sick, in just a little while. <laughs> Hey, we are looking forward to it. I'm surprised by how many people are already down here, stayed down here. We did just send a lot of people up the hill here to go see that parade, but there's still a lot of people hanging out here at the banks. Hundreds, if not a thousand people. We know the party really got started at Holy Grail at 8.30 this morning. We got here around 10 o'clock, and this party was already bumping, and we're still seeing that carry on. We know that the Naked Karate Girls, the band, just started just down the road here on Freedom Way. A lot of things planned uh, throughout the afternoon. We know the gates don't even open until 2.10 this afternoon. So they still got a couple of hours to party, and we know that it's only going to get busier down here, especially after that parade ends and people start making their way. I'm here with some family and friends of the Dowd family. You guys can come up here and join me. I'm really excited for you all because you all have generations of people here who have been to a lot of opening day games, and someone here is at their first. So just fill us in on the tradition it has for you all. I mean, I've been coming probably around 30 years, so it's just, I've always been a Reds fan, and it's just always such a fun party. All right, and what, are you, what is in store for today? How early do you get down here? When do you plan to go in? Around 11. Okay, so pretty early, but not too bad. How, would, how are the crowds compared to normal? Normal. Normal? Yeah, it's yeah. going to get bad soon. The, not bad, bad, but yeah. crowded. Busy, busy. More, more people down here crazy. for sure. Sounds yeah. like there's a lot of people up there uh, at the parade. Talk about the weather. I mean, can you oh, beat this? Awesome. Totally awesome. It's dry. It's, it's dry. dry. <laughs> Talk about, what has the weather been like for some of those other ones? 30 years. I know there's been some snowy ones. I mean, it's snowy. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> But about four but, years ago, it was snowing yeah, sideways. Yeah. yeah, it was it was a bad one. That today's one. perfect. Today is a good one. We're gonna be great. And we've had really time. hot ones too, like where it's been almost 80. So yeah, yeah. Well, we are lucky. We are having a great time today. Lots and lots of people down here uh, having a good time. We know it's only gonna grow. Back to you, Sheila Bob. All right, Chelsea, I love those family traditions coming down here year after year for opening day. And she is in that spot where it is just going to be this, <laughs> this sea of red. Oh, my gosh, everywhere is a sea of red today. That's it's right. It's opening day. Amen. It's our unofficial holiday, and we'll have more in just a moment.
Uh. Hello, I almost said good morning, Cincinnati. <laughs> it's afternoon. Foresight, Abbott. It's the 105th annual Finley Market Opening Day Parade live here on Local 12 with Bob Herzog and Sheila Gray. We're so glad you're here. And I'm so surprised to see behind us right now on 5th Street, it looks like the very yeah, first pieces back, of the parade are starting to come on yeah. down toward Fountain Square. And that means up at Finley probably they're not even halfway through releasing all of the entries at this point no, but we'll get there we'll get there wonderful the Cincinnati Police Department the Honor Guard will be coming along right there Rozzy and their famous fireworks will be shit what there was the fire <laughs> I was gonna say almost as if they heard me at some point you'll hear a boom don't <laughs> don't jump it's the Rozzy's doing what the Rozzy's do oh, I love it I love it and so <laughs> many great uh, people will be in the parade today we have former and current Reds we have Jim Scott, radio legend, and just a friend to everyone in Cincinnati who walked in this parade for more than 50 years yeah. and who today is the honorary Grand Marshal. I can't wait to see him riding by on Fountain Square. Here. It'll be it'll be spectacular, yes. and we'll, we'll certainly uh, give you the opportunity to see Jim as he not only rolls by Fountain Square, but probably as he, as he leaves Finley Market. We'll probably see that as well this morning. Uh, John Gum was with us a little bit earlier, giving us the outlook on the day. He'll be out right here at Fifth and Vine among the people and among the, the parade entries as well to give us a street-level view of what's going on. So we got so fortunate with the weather, as John was saying. You know, there have been days when it has snowed on opening days. <laughs> One of the folks there with Chelsea was saying, it's been 80 on opening day. That would be my kind of opening day. But, <laughs> but this is fine. We have sunshine and thousands and thousands of people cheering for the police officers and the Razzies and saying, go Reds! Starting to get that feel of the crowd, yes. the anticipation as we get more and more people headed this way. We've already seen, uh, you know, Pokey Reese, Lee, Finley Market, and Demetra Young is heading this way. And we think back to that 99 team that was so exciting. Yes. And we think of that young, exciting team we had last year and what they are going to do this season. There's so much anticipation. And I think uh, you and I have talked about this a lot, Bob. How, la you know, everybody celebrates on opening day and everybody is excited. Last year, they were not exactly excited about the team because no. of all the rebuilding yep. and the new folks and, uh, you know, not really knowing uh, if Joe Ivano was going to be well. Of course, he's not with us this year, but it just turned into the most incredible season that we could have had. It's spectacular, yeah. and the weather, as we mentioned, is spectacular. And when I talk weather, I think of the man himself, our chief meteorologist, John Gum, who is out among the people right now. John Gum! How's it going down there? It's going great, Dad. I finally made it out here to the street. The crowd's thick, but we've got folks here lined up, ready to go. You guys ready for opening day today? <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? Kim, okay, Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Where are you from? Regina, Hillsborough. Hillsborough, too. We got some Hillsborough people here. We got some guys down here. Come on, let's come and talk to these guys right back here. What's your name, buddy? Easton. What are you looking forward to today? Watching the Reds game. Watching the Reds game today. And are you excited for the parade today? Yeah. <laughs> Like your hat, looks good. What's your name, buddy? Jace. Jace, where are you from, Jace? Cincinnati. Cincinnati, any excited about the parade today? Yeah. Getting ready for it out here. Oh, we got some more guys. That's a nice chain. Mm. Look at that. You're styling, what's your name? Kai. Kai, and are you ready for the opening day parade today? Yes, Have you sir. been to an opening day parade before? No, this is my first This time. is your first one. This is a first timer right here. Wow, 105 years of tradition, and they're going right now behind it. Oh, look at this. What is this? You don't see this every day. Yeah. What, what, what is this? Uh, this is Ember. My, um, it's a character I created and commissioned to have the head made. That is awesome. Ember enjoying opening day parade today as well. So we're having fun out here, guys. Enjoying the weather. Enjoying the crowd that's out here today. And here they come down the street. Bob and Sheila. I'm glad the weather is good today. That's all I got to say, because on the days it's not good and I'm out here. <laughs> it's, it's always not the best. Rosie's fireworks out here warming things up for us. I need to get close to it. Oh, yeah, do that again. I need some heat. Woo. Feels good. <laughs> yes. That's what we need, because we're not quite into the upper 50s just yet. Here comes the Cincinnati Police motorcade there. I love it when they do those stunts here. 
Ember had an entire animal head made. I thought I was doing well with my jacket, Bob. That, <laughs> that was next strong. Year. You know what? You've got to, <laughs> now you've got to think for next year. <laughs> Cook Sporting Goods, Sheila's going to need an animal head. So get on, get Hook on that. Up, Chris. Let's see what you can do. There you go. You, know, you, you, you see different members of our law enforcement community, there was Cincinnati police or Hamilton County sheriffs, and they, and they come out here and people, you know, they have so much love and respect for what these folks do in our area to keep yes, us safe and to get them out here and sort of display some of their skills in a different way is a lot of fun. Well, and I don't know if any other city does as well what we do big events. Mm, oh, we no doubt. can have half a million, a million people. The Cincinnati police will tell you there are very few problems. They do such a great job handling crowds and getting out with the community and their community relations. and. I just love that about our town. I, I wonder how long they train to do that because I don't know. that looks dangerous to me. I, they got a little serpentine thing going there. Yes. I, I frankly couldn't go around that many times before it would become a problem from a uh, motion sickness standpoint. Yeah, and right behind them, you've got the Cincinnati Police Department honor guard there with the flags. And they, they come out in some of the most difficult occasions. Yes in our region and they they handle themselves with such dignity and such respect in really really difficult times and that's a you know it's a big commitment because you don't know when a tragedy is going to strike and you're going to be called to pay that respect to someone else so yep. hats off to them it's great to see them marching here today on a happy and festive the most happy and festive occasion opening day in cincinnati and nobody does it like we do, as we always say. Amen to that. Amen. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. That's amazing. Look, I thought it was impressive when the Shriners guys did it in the little tiny cars. Yes, They're doing amazing. it on police motorcycles for crying out loud. I'm betting the kids down there love it. I see a little girl waving to the police officers down there. It's so cute. Those young people Gummer was just talking to before were so excited. They were great. And they I, were so excited. I love it when kids get to come down here and experience this for the first time and yeah. really feel like what it's like to live in Cincinnati. See that little girl jumping for joy there I on do, the right? I do, right there on the right <laughs> side of the screen. She is so happy. That's that's what it is. That's, that's what it's all about, man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See and, the kids waving and you, when you've, clapping. When you've got a team that is as exciting as the team was last year, that excitement, it, it keeps going. It doesn't live just today. It right. lives a little bit longer into the season. I'll take as much of this as we can get. There's Cincinnati Police Chief Teresa Thiege. You see her there in the Reds hat carrying one of the, uh, I'm thinking maybe one of her grandkids. One of her grandkids probably. She's from that massive family, uh, the uh, mother and grandmother and uh, the sister of, other people in law enforcement here in Cincinnati, long law enforcement tr tradition in the Fiji family. And to see her, she's to see her out there being chief and being grandma. Yes, that's like the coolest. And a Reds fan. And a Reds, she's got fan. A Reds fan hat on. There she's too. checking all of the boxes, isn't she? She, uh, you know, when she got that job, she told us that being a mother and a grandmother was something that was really going to help her yeah. as police chief because you're leading in a different way when you're a parent or a grandparent. And um, we're at being a career mom and a working mom all those years, she said really helped her in her police and law enforcement career. And just to think of all the things they've had to deal with right in about this area oh within a couple of blocks within the last month or two, yeah. and to then see the city be able to turn on its head and do these kinds of things and do them successfully and safely and with yes. joy, it's got to be its got to be a heartening thing. Yeah, and I love seeing her uh, there surrounded with some of the top members of the police department as well, and uh, folks being able to relate. Walk and talk. On with the chief right. All right. Opening day, what do you think? Opening day, one of the greatest days in our city. It's phenomenal. And what's it mean to have the little ones out here with you today? This in is the parade? my granddaughter, Violet. Yeah, first experience in opening day parade, and I think they are mesmerized. <laughs> As are all we mesmerized. What, what does this mean to the city, this type of event? Oh, this just brings everybody together. This is a highlight of our year, and, you know, we're going to have a phenomenal season with the Reds. All good today. Chief, thank good. you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the parade. Thank you. 
And this portion of Local 12's coverage of the 2024 Opening Day Parade is brought to you by Ortho Cincy. Ortho Cincy, the orthopedic authority. That was a great conversation there with Chief Fiji. And she said just what we have been talking about all day. And uh, there's a reminder that the Cincinnati Police Department is recruiting. I think, they, did they just finish an academy? Or maybe they're getting another one started maybe this summer, I yeah, think. Yeah, I feel like maybe another one this summer, I think. Yeah, I think. they're always looking for good men and women from our community to serve. People who want to make our own community, our own neighborhoods better. Yeah. There's a way and, you can do that. Lots of ways you can do that. And make a difference. And speaking of people who make a difference, the U.S. military, that's the 338th U.S. Army Reserve Command Band going by. And uh, we were lucky enough today to talk to uh, the uh, folks who are doing the flyover with the U.S. Army mm -hmm. down at the ballpark. But I think we have something special to interrupt us now. Adam, Adam has something he would like to show us. Mr. Hi, Clements, what's going on? Hey guys, yeah, uh, as many of you at home know, we lost a, a longtime member of our family, uh, the beloved John Lomax, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, wanted to pay tribute today. He loved opening day so much, so our friends at Cincy Shirts uh, printed a one-of-one -one shirt for me. This is John uh, walking in his final parade two years ago that he participated in as a member of Local 12. He will always be a member of our family and your family as well, because he was, he was this city. He was everything that we are and everything that was good about us. So uh, we're dedicating this day to the iconic Mr. John Lomax. We love you, John. We'll send it back to you guys. The Godfather is what we called him, and I've been missing him all day today. Yep. He, lo he loved this day. He, he loved opening day, and, and someone even sent a note up here to us at Fountain Square, Bob, talking about how John uh, just – related and enjoyed people. He yes. loved talking to people and meeting new people no matter where he was. And when people experienced joy, it gave him joy. Oh yeah, it did. He I, I, he, he delighted in the happiness of other people yep. and seeing other people happy. And there's no, there is no happier day in this town than opening day. Nope, there's not. I love this float here from Holt House Lackner Signs. They've been supporting the Finley Market and the Reds for uh, almost 90 years. Isn't that fantastic? It's a good look. That's a good looking entry right there. It sure is, and a whole bunch of good looking kids on there <laughs> who are ready to take it for the next generation, right? Absolutely. That's great. 105th annual opening day parade. Amen. 105 times we've done Isn't this doggone thing in this town. Well, you and I have not done it. It's getting close. Times. It's, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> But, yeah, you know, the Finley Market Opening Day Parade didn't start as the Finley Market Parade. It started with just a way of getting people down to the ballpark with the, the Reds in a float and the other team, maybe the Cubs in a float and a marching band, and that was it. Just three entries, but they were just trying to attract fans down to Crossley Field to come and see a Reds game, and this is what it's turned into. From 1920 until now, Finley Market has been leading this thing, and it gets bigger and better every year. And we talk about the Reds being the first professional baseball team. Let us not forget that we yes. had the first professional fire department in this town as well, as we see some folks from the Cincinnati Fire Department Firefighters Union Local 48, over 800 firefighters and paramedics strong at this point. They're rolling out a couple of trucks. We'll see a lot of fire trucks in the parade today, but these two are with the Cincinnati Fire Department. And we have a new, fairly new fire chief, Chief Frank McKinley. He's there. They've got two uh, trucks in the parade, but Chief McKinley is up there waving. Of course, Cincinnati Fire Department established in 1853. I don't know if the Fire Museum has an entry today, but if you're ever do, looking for do. something to do with the kids, oh. our Cincinnati Fire Museum is really, really amazing. Yes, they are. Hey, shout out real quick to my brother, Mike, who is a Cincinnati firefighter. Thank you, Mike, for your service. You know, and I and I always think of with firefighters and, and law enforcement, you know, it's a whole family effort. Yes. Because you never know what's going to happen uh, when your firefighter or your police officer goes out for the day. So, it, you know, thankful to all the families who support them. And there's a, a leading person in our law enforcement community there. Is that Dr. Lakshmi Samarco yes, right Dr. there? Dr. Lakshmi Samarco, the Hamilton County coroner, yes. <laughs> there she is. She, Got to get that video. Dr. Samarco, you post that on Instagram later. I love that Corvette she's riding in. Yeah, it's not I'm bad. I'm going to get a ride that in is, that. That is a little red that Corvette. That looks fantastic. There ever was one. Just don't sing that. <laughs> 
it is it is often said in this town if you are if you are someone who runs for office in this region mm -hmm. and you don't get in this parade <laughs> just drop out yeah you got no you got no chance you might as well that's right <laughs> uh looks like the hamilton county sheriff's administration is coming through because we've got the bagpipers oh i love a bagpipe i love the sound of a bagpipe too and i know that we have uh sheriff charming mcguffey her command staff the first woman sheriff of course in hamilton county Corrections officer recruits are going to be here today, and they've been going through a, a pretty new program. Um, they had a signing event for the corrections officers recruits recently, sort of treating it like uh, an athletic signing to get them excited about meeting the community and being involved. Cool. I thought I like it was idea. a very cool idea. Oliver, the therapy canine, is down there with them. I got to meet Oliver the other day. You did. Where was I that? I did down at Smale Park when they had the, oh, the, the right. pinwheels set yeah. up. Yeah, okay. That's uh, yesterday cool. for Child Abuse Awareness Month coming up in April. Uh, Oliver's going to do a lot of good in our community with That's a lot great. of kids. Yeah, absolutely. I love absolutely. that. I love that. And once again, you know, the sheriff's department I know is recruiting because I remember that from the uh, when we talked about the corrections officers. They said they did have another class starting in August. So if that's something that you've ever felt inspired to do, the Sheriff's Department, Cincinnati Police Department, top-notch law enforcement organizations right here in our hometown. How long do you think it takes one to become an expert in the bagpipe? <laughs> like, is it too late for me to pick up the bagpipe? No, I think you can do it. All right. Aren't you learning German? You can learn a bagpipe. Why couldn't I? And I went to Oak Hill High School. Air. There you go. <laughs> I just put that on the tee for you, didn't you I? You did, babe. Good Lord. You, did. you didn't even See, realize I told it. you we've been doing this 105 I know, years. that's right. They're the Evanston Bulldog <laughs> cheerleaders. Love bringing it. us some energy down here at Fountain Square and Fifth and Vine. <laughs> Oh, now see, now we're getting some cartwheels. I wonder, there's no chance we get a cartwheel out of the gummer, is gummer, there? Gummer, Gummer, get down there with those car cheerleaders and do don't, a cartwheel. Don't hurt yourself, man. Please don't hurt yourself. The last time I did a cartwheel, I did actually hurt myself. <laughs> gummer, you got a cartwheel in you, dude? Come on, cartwheel. No. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. No, it's I'm like just one kidding. of those don't. half cartwheels. <laughs> We've got spirit. Yes, we do. And now, as you were talking about the politicians, we've got the Hamilton County Commissioners there, all women now. Alicia Reese. Alicia Reese, right Denise along. Denise Driehaus and Steph Stephanie Summero Dumas all here today in the Findlay Market Opening Day Parade. They've been busy of late as well. They have been really busy. Got some uh, funds approved to improve Paycor Stadium. Been talking a lot about the Duke Energy Convention Center. Lots yes. going on. Lots going there on. There is a lot of development going on here in Cincinnati right now. Looks like there's a little pause in the action there. It's one of the great mysteries of a good parade. <laughs> yeah. What? Is why? Why? <laughs> why? What happens? <laughs> what happens? Sometimes there's a gap and there's nobody. And yeah. then sometimes it just, you know, we just wait around. It's fine. Yeah. Do I see Gapper? Do I see Gapper? Up and up yep. on top? He's I up think on I that do. car up there. Let's Man. see. Where? Is you that can't, the, uh, you can't oh. stop the gapper. We might be getting pretty close to the Grand Marshals. I know because they are next on the. Yeah. They're next. I think is he with the is gapper with the dive boat from. Uh, might be Hamilton County Police Association dive team. I see our our prosecutor Hampton County prosecutor Melissa Powers making her way around as well. She was lamenting to me the other day. She's like, I got everybody just t-shirts. I'm afraid it's going to be too cold. That's <laughs> an apple oh, turtle. Like, I that thing. Yeah, okay. I'll be all right. Yeah, You'll be there's fine. gapper. You're right. He's been up since early this morning. Gapper, Rosie Red, Mr. Red, Mr. Red Legs, they were all down at Great American Ballpark with us around 6 o'clock this morning. They've got a really <laughs> long day. Why Why does that amuse me so much? I, because. That's the, just, when the Gapper does his move. There's nothing like there's nothing like the Gapper doing I, what the Gapper do. I remember when they brought him along, and I thought, what is that thing? But I love him. I don't even care. <laughs> and we don't have an answer. That's we don't right. really know what he is. That's right. We only know that he I is. I know. Speaking of great service, the folks with the shield, they oh, step in when tragedy goodness. strikes in a law enforcement family. There's yep. Pokey Reese with his little grandson, there we Pokey go. the Third. When he <laughs> when he helped kick things off, the smile on that kid. Oh I mean, gosh. ear to ear. Pokey yes. Reese was one of those guys who you love to watch because he could flash the leather. He could get to baseballs that you were for sure he could not get to, right. and sometime he would get to him. And John I think Gum. John is with him now. I'm with the man, Pokey Reese. Pokey, 
What do you think? It's, this is awesome. I'm getting choked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's awesome being back here. Do you feel the love from the people? Yeah, because they love you, let me tell you. Yes, I really do. I was telling them I'm getting choked up now, you know what I mean? How, how is this type of thing different than other major league cities? Well, I've never been in the actual parade, but opening day, I heard, you know, it's one of the biggest in the game. So, go, let's go Reds. Yeah, exactly. Well, what's it been like, though, taking this, this just over a mile ride? How's it been? I mean, it's been awesome. People showing their love. I mean, people actually love me, you know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. This is a blessing. All right. Enjoy your day, Pokey. Thank you. Pokey Reese, definitely loved in this town. <laughs> All right, Dimitri. How you doing? How's it going? I'm good. How about you? So, how's the ride been? What, what's it been like? You know what? This is insane. All these people here, all these Reds fans. This is this is overwhelming, you know. And and I'm also tired too. You know, the waving <laughs> and the smiling. Yeah, it gets They're exhausting. Like, oh yeah, but you know what? Do you feel the love though? Because oh, they yeah. love you. I, I hear the me hook. They want to see me do this. And, <laughs> and it's just like bring back memories when I played here. And it's greatly appreciated. So. And you had great memories of playing here, right? Oh, definitely. Definitely great memories. And and what has this been like to ride in this? It's different than any other place in the, in the majors, isn't it? Well, when I play here, the parade went on outside. We were inside. So we got to see the elephants and the horse and, and what they like to do on fields. And this is the first time from this perspective. Enjoy the oh, day, Dimitri. Yeah. I most certainly will. Thank you. To hear both of those guys, Pokey and Dimitri, almost being choked up, <laughs> talking know. about just the sheer love Yep. of this crowd. What yep. a cool thing. To feel that love for the Reds and for yourself as a player, Pokey and Dimitri, fantastic. And, and Dimitri said he was tired and it's from the waiting. <laughs> it's the 25th anniversary <laughs> of that 1999 team. That, yes, uh, indeed. We had so much fun that season. You ready for the first trivia question? I am. All right, let's do this thing. Which, which, go ahead, Bob. Which Red Star was traded to St. Louis to make room for Dimitri Young, but then came back? Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Oh man, that was that would have been before I moved here because I, I moved here in '99. To, I'm gonna have to think through yeah. that a little okay. bit. Yeah, okay. So we'll came, we'll think about back. it. Yeah, we'll, as we'll the, as that the answer fans a little bit. down there wave to us from they Fifth know. Street. They know what's up. They're so excited. Andrew Abbott <laughs> and um, uh, Graham, Ashcraft. Uh, Graham Ashcraft just went by in a in a Cor Corvette as well. So they got to see a couple of Reds legends and a couple of legends in the making today. So much fun. It's just they. Whoever thought through the idea of getting Pokey and Dimitri as the Grand Marshals this year, given how many times people have tied what that 99 team meant to the franchise to what last year's team meant to the franchise, sort of this, um, this fruition of a rebuilding program yeah. come to life. That's what we're seeing from both of those teams, and I, and I think it's why people are so excited to watch the team this year. Right. I just, I just remember that time in 99, it, and we were at one of those last games of the season, and it was electric. Yes. People were going bananas. Yep. And that was my daughter Katie's first time seeing a Reds, Get a Reds out. game. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. It was, yeah, that's yeah. a great family memory for us. It is. And, you know, yeah. I, I think everybody, you go to the ballpark, you want to see the Reds win, you want to have some good food and just make some good memories, that kind of thing. Yeah. And you also want to see something spectacular happen, something crazy happen maybe. And they've got guys, you know what I'm talking about. With Ellie De La Cruz out yes. there, oh my something gosh. you've never seen before could happen every single game. That's right. Every and, single game. <laughs> and my, we took, uh, we went out last summer to a game, and my son Eric was like, I need his shirt. I got to have his shirt. I'm yeah. like, okay, let's go get an Ellie shirt. Yeah, that's what it was like. The Toyota Tundra trucks just went by. Uh, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine just went by. I think we're going to be seeing some local 12 family coming up here pretty soon. I believe so. Goodness knows we've seen yeah. the, the rest of the local media. Uh, yeah. well, everybody shows up in this parade, yeah, just like the politicians do. Yeah. A brief word from our sponsor. Sports injuries, work injuries, everyday injuries can take you out of the game. OrthoCincy's Urgent Care will get you back in the game. It's Orthopedic Urgent Care. Walk-ins welcome. No 
appointment needed. Get back in the game. OrthoCincy, the orthopedic authority. <laughs> okay, you're looking at some folks from Cincinnati City Hall, the mayor, the city manager. Is Aft Tab out there? I can't see him. He's got to be in there somewhere, doesn't he? I don't see him. I did see the city manager share along, but some, uh, pe some great people who serve our city there. And what a great city it is. And they're wearing their vests, so safety first. <laughs> you can't miss them. You can't miss them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's the crew from the city manager's office right there for sure. For sure. The 105th annual Findlay Market Opening Day. We're so glad you're watching, whether it's on Local 12, local12.com, or our free Local 12 News app. We're there glad to have you there. There's we our go. family. Tyler Madden, Marilla Porter. Look at those boots. Megan Mangello. Kyle Inskeep. Where is she? And there she Olita is. Aha, just look at the fit. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen, y'all. I'm going to need to see Aaliyah's outfit up close because <laughs> let me tell you, she has talked about this outfit for weeks. She was very secretive about it. And then you can see as it has come to life why. Hey, Gummer, hey, talk to you. Talk to the people. What do you think? Oh, I'm lit. They're, I'm excited. You're excited? Yes. Okay. Well, your outfit. Tell me about this ensemble. So a local girl named Channing made the jacket, the hat. I got this off Amazon. I just want to do something different this year. Yeah. I want to stand out. I like it. I like it. All right, let me talk to Tyler. Tyler, John it's your first John. time. What are you thinking of this? I'm loving it. There is nothing like it. I've never seen so many people. Everybody fired up, ready to go. It's a big day. It is a big day. Megan. How's the walk been? Oh, my God. Fabulous. First of all, kids are off school. The yeah. weather's perfect. Crowds are amazing. Energy's awesome. Go Reds. Kyle. Hello, John. Beautiful day. Lovely yeah. crowd. So many people. And Morella. Hi. What do you think, Morella? Oh, my God. I love it. I mean, look at my boots. <laughs> oh, no. Your boots are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been great. Everybody's so friendly. I love it. Enjoy the walk, guys. Thank you, John. They're loving it. The local 12 clan. Having a good time. Oh, it's Ross, too. Ross Stroud. What do you think, Ross? This is a huge crowd. It's our year. Let's go. go. There we go. It is our year. It's our year. How about that? making their way through Fifth and Vine right now. Looks like a lot of Kroger shirts out there on this next group of folks. Had the horse-drawn wagon out in front, and now we got the Bearcats. We got the Bearcat coming through. All right. Those UC Bearcats made a, made a nice little run in the NIT. Got a spring game coming up here before too long. That was their spirit band out there. I, oh, my gosh. They're just slinging people around in the middle of the square. I tell you what, uh, Good the Lord. basketball teams run in the Big 12 for their first season. They were fun to watch. They were really fun to watch. I loved seeing that. Uh, sorry they didn't go farther in the NIT, but they did just fine. There's some of the Bearcats cheer team. We love their enthusiasm. We love it when they come to Local 12. We always have a great time. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Getting the crowd fired up with some cheering. Looks like that spirit band there, a ready to of, go, marching behind them. A little bit of percussion, yeah. Oh! Oh, oh you there it see. goes. There, there it goes. we go. There's that cheer. I was hoping they were going to do I that. I wish them nothing but the best, but I am a Xavier graduate, so oh. I, am, I am technically not allowed to do that cheer. <laughs> oh! Oh! You oh. see. <laughs> I'll do it. You did fine. You did <laughs> a great. You. you did a great job. <laughs> Go get them. Little percussion there. 
It's great to see them. I'm sure they're having a great time marching in the Finley Market opening day parade. How could you not on a day like today? Absolutely. I am telling you. You know, at one time when Marge Schott owned the Reds, <laughs> yeah. she turned it into more like a circus parade because she got the elephants out from the Cincinnati Zoo. Dimitri was talking about that. Yeah. We have the elephants. Yeah, down on the he brought them down there, downtown, down to the field. That was uh, that was the perk of uh, having you know somebody who was a big supporter of our Cincinnati Zoo <laughs> owning the Reds for a little bit of time. I wonder what I wonder what that was like for the grounds crew though. I, yeah, I'm sure they weren't real thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, Tim been, O'Connell. That might have been a little tough. Vice uh, Vice President of. Okay, so uh, let's get the answer to that trivia question, Bob. Okay, here we go. Once again. The question was, which Red Star was traded to St. Louis to make room for Dimitri Young, but eventually came back? I don't have a clue. Do you, did, did, have I you thought about it? You I, want to take yeah, a guess? I don't, I don't know. You want to take a wild guess as we look at Jeff Ruby waving to the crowd down there? Of course. <laughs> of course. You know what? I Guys, I got to gotta take a pass on this one. I have no idea. Okay. I'm trying to think who and came back and forth. Is, I can't get it. Give us the answer, Doug. I'm so curious. Mr. Red I, Legs and I Rosie should, Red there. I should I should know I should Jeff Brantley. Jeff Brantley. Oh my gosh, the cowboy? You're kidding me. That's great. I, I never know that. I never would have guessed that. I didn't know. Never in a went, million years. I don't I didn't remember him going back and forth like that. Okay. That's a good one. That's well, a good one, Dougie. There's the Cincinnati Reds community fund with Mr. Red Legs and Rosie Red finally getting off their feet for a minute, kinda. Kinda sorta. Getting a ride. Yeah. They were down with us this morning, and they will just keep on going yeah. all day. They will, and they've got some great kids with them. Some Cincinnati Public Schools junior high baseball and softball players are in the parade with them today. Look at that crowd of kids, Bob. And we love what the Reds Community Fund does in our region, whether it's rehabbing an old ball field that has sort of fallen into disrepair or helping young people who may not have the means to get the equipment to go out and play that the game that they want to play, a game they love, they help make those kinds of things happen. Red yeah. Community Fund and is a great got, job. They've got, the, uh, they've got the leagues, you know, the, the Cincinnati community leagues in these neighborhoods all, all around town. They've really just done such a great job with promoting uh, baseball, promoting the game of baseball. John Gums down there with them. Yeah, I'm down here with them, and uh, I'll tell you, we're having a good time. How, how's the walk been? Have you enjoyed the walk? It's been a good walk. Yeah? BJ. What do you think? Yeah. You having fun at the parade? Is this fun? fun? He's like, yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Let me talk. How's the walk been? You guys enjoying it? Yes, yeah? Sir. What do you think of all these people down here? Is it cool? Are you getting tired waving, though? A it gets a little tired. I understand that. Totally understand that. Have fun. Have fun. They're enjoying it. I think Marty's coming up here. Oh, there he is. Let's talk to Marty. Talk to me, Marty. Talk to me. <laughs> How's the walk been? It's been great. It's been great. I've gotten my exercise and seen a lot of people. Yeah. Well, what do you think this club's going to do this year? Well, I think they got to get healthy to begin with. And they got to get off to a decent start. This is a very winnable division. There's no overpowering team in this division. And that's what they've got to do. But they've got to get their people back and healthy. All right. Marty, thank you very much. Enjoy Thanks, the day. Good Take care. Grand Marshal of the Miracle League Parade with Anthony Munoz a oh, that's few years pretty good. back. That's and pretty it, good. That was amazing. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys. If you're if you're building, you know, a tribute to sports icons in our town, Anthony Munoz is on that list. The he's, last time I saw Anthony, dudes. I was at the Kenwood Town Center. It was like a few days before Christmas. Yeah. So I was picking up a gift. He was trying to sneak through, like trying to get some gifts for. How is Anthony Munoz sneaking anywhere? He can't. No. <laughs> he can't. No. no. <laughs> 
There he it's is. It's great to see him. There's Anthony. He's just the greatest guy. He really is. He helps <laughs> He helps out a whole lot of people. He, he sure really does. does. He really does. So coming up, we've the got Smoothie King. Chicks. And Smoothie King has a whole bunch of uh, Bengals legends with him. And the Hootie Chicks primarily are coming out for Bengals games, but they said they would dance for Reds <laughs> opening day. So let's see some dancing from Why the Why not? Chicks. They're ready to go. And they love a tailgate. That's that's what they do. <laughs> that's cool. I had no idea there were quite that many Hootie Chicks. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, there are. That's fantastic. <laughs> Smoothie King also is honoring Bengals legends Ken Anderson, David Fulcher, Louis Breen, and Joe Kelly and Kevin Walker. So it's good to see them going by as well. Another group of Bengals players who have done and, and will no doubt continue to do pretty great things in our community. Oh, my gosh. For sure. Talking about Kenny Anderson in particular. Just mm, what a great guy. What a great guy. He's got to get to Canton. Yes, we he does. we got Riley in there with Anthony Munoz. Now we need to get Kenny yep, Anderson another Kenny. in there. Time for another Kenny. Absolutely. Kenny. <laughs> this is some sort of dance crew. Of some kind. Oh, maybe that's your smoothie king. I think that is. That's number twenty-seven. There we, have, we go. We There's have the reached the place where we're officially out of order. Sheila. We had, that, it, that, you know what? That took longer than usual. I think it did. I, I have think to it tell did. you, it's very exciting. There's the big man, David Fulcher. I can see him on there. You see Louis Breeden on there too. Maybe. Fantastic. Some Bengals royalty there. On opening day, it's honoring our Reds. Good to see cross-sport pollination. Yes. You know what I, I mean? Like when yes. one of the teams, one of our professional major league teams. Collaboration another. is great. Oh, yeah, I'm there's Joe them. Kelly. I can see him there with his back to us there. That's fantastic. There's Louis Breeden. And there's Kenny Anderson getting some video. Heck, heck yeah, he is. Was that Jake Sweeney Automotive's got a DJ up there. That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, sure. Miss Indiana. They've got some pageant queens. Yes, yeah, Sydney Bridges. Beautiful. And then you've got Miss Kentucky there, Mallory Hudson. Miss Ohio, Madison Miller. Now, I know you host several pageants. I don't know if so you're involved I, with any of these, though. So I do Miss Ohio USA, Miss Kentucky USA, and uh, Michigan and Pennsylvania as well. But there's our Miss Ohio, Madison Miller. It's great to see her. And then there's Miss America, Heather French Henry from 2000. Remember her? She was Miss Kentucky. I absolutely do. Became Miss do. America. She still does so many great things for Maysville the zone. state of Kentucky. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's great. And there's the South Bank shuttle. Always a good way to get to a Reds game if you want to cross over from the river. The Sham Rockers. That's, that's, that's who Heather French Henry is hanging out with. Oh, the that's Sham great. Rockers. That is great. She's a great lady. Does a lot for veterans. Does so I much for veterans. I love her jacket, too. It says Frenchie. <laughs> Perfect. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, it's the Who Day. The Hootie South Bank shuttle. You know, coming she's, across she's here. running the Rosemary Clooney Museum, I think, down. Oh, is that down what she's May doing? Yeah, now? yeah, it's one of the many yeah. things, but yeah. I love how they dressed up the tank buses here. They have a Hootie bus there, and then they have a baseball, a Reds themed bus saying, We're going to knock it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> But it is a great, a great and easy way, way to park over in Northern Kentucky and then ride over to the Bengals and Reds games. I, we love to do that. That is the the Sin the, the Sin Fed folks. They got a horse. They have uh, Clydesdales. A couple of them They've got Clydesdales and the Wegmans farm wagon. Isn't that great? Very good. With the Cincinnati Enquirer coming up behind as well. You know, if you got one of them wagons. How many parades do you do a year? You got to do the horse and carriage. Yeah, right? I mean, you got to get it in. Maybe do that one. Yeah. Do yeah. this one. You get it in many, as many as you can, I would think. All right. That is a good looking horse. Beautiful. They've got a semi, too. Talk about a display. They they came loaded for bear. Hey, this portion of Local 12's coverage of the 2024 opening day parade is brought to you by Little Debbie Mini Muffins. Available 
family packs and now in big pack with six muffins per pouch. There's some folks from the Cincinnati Enquirer. Think they're getting any stories as they go along? I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine. You gotta find some stories. Kind of like us, this still <laughs> qualifies as a work day. You know That's what I mean? Bob! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wiedemann! Wiedemann is here! Wiedemann beer! They've got a horse drawn beer wagon. That's gotta be an original, right? Wiedemann brewed its first beer in 1870, just one year after the Reds became the first professional nice. baseball team. Very nice. In U.S. history. Very That's nice. Awesome. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Beer is such a big part of our heritage, just like baseball. <laughs> Beer, baseball, and sausage. Yeah, I mean, it's if you what have, we do. There are a couple of tours over and over the Rhine of the brewing district that are yeah. really pretty cool. Um, there's a brewery tour and there's an American Legacy tour that'll take you down in the beer tunnels over there and over the ride. Be even a little spooky when you get down there. It sometime. is, and you know what? They actually, at one point, they turned the lights off. Yeah. You want to see some darkness? Yeah. <laughs> get in those beer tundles. Let that'll, me tell you what. That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, they won Cincinnati's favorite beer a couple of years there. The folks at Wiedemann's. I love that horse-drawn carry. Just beautiful. It is. And then there's the guy with the trash can. That's a rough gig. <laughs> When you're behind yeah, two giant well, horses. Yeah, yeah they, well, it, 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 you got to clean up after your mess. You can lead a horse to water, but that won't make it stop. <laughs> okay, Chris Rankles over at Great American Ballpark for us, and he's got another special guest. Hey, Chris, who's with you? Well, it's a man on the Reds who knows a thing or two about opening day. Cuffcath grad, Cincinnati native Luke Maley here. Luke. What's the difference between opening day as a player and coming as a kid? Same kind of feeling or take me through it? Uh, they're both really exciting. One's a little bit more stressful than the other, but uh, we're excited, man. In all seriousness, this is just the greatest day that you can ever ask for in baseball and uh, happy to be a part of it for the second time. When you have to explain to some of the guys who haven't seen opening day in Cincinnati before, what do you tell them? Oh, just how amazing it is. I mean, I think the, a few guys, you know, kind of our new guys learned that I was from the area. They've asked me and kind of picked my brain about it, I guess. But uh, I just tell them it's, you know, it's everything I remember from my childhood. You know, it was it all kind of revolved around opening day or revolved around the red season in some capacity. So uh, to be a part of it as a player, uh, it means a lot, to, not just to me, but to all of us. Take me through a favorite opening day memory as a kid. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, the new ballpark here, that, that sticks out. And then uh, I guess I would have to say Griffey's uh, first opening day. I was there for that one at Old Riverfront. So uh, that was a pretty special day. I was a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan. And when he joined the Reds and came home, that was that was awesome. You got family coming in today? Are they out at the parade? What's it like for them? I don't know what they're doing right now, but they'll definitely be here at some point. Uh, I'm sure they're having a good time by now, though. This team has had so much hype around it after what you guys did the last half of last season. What's it like to finally be able to get out there and put all the hype behind and actually play some baseball games? Yeah, I think, um, you know, hype is hype, right? Like, we're used to dealing with that. But I think after last year and all the excitement, the young group of guys that we have, there's there's definitely something for us to, to prove because we ultimately we came up short last year. So uh, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to have another crack at it. And uh, just the core group of guys we have, along with the additions we made, especially on the pitching side of things, we're, we're awfully excited about it. How good can this team be? Well, it starts today, man. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to put a number on it or anything like that. Obviously, in this game, it's, it's not really in your best interest to do that anyway. But, uh, you know, I tell you what, we're excited for pitch number one. And then after that one, pitch number two and so on. We'll do that the whole year. He's Luke Maley, the Cincinnati kid, enjoying his second opening day as a member of the Reds, but not his first or second opening day overall. Luke, thanks for coming on. No problem. Anytime. From a big... They're from a big sports family. You know, his cousin is Michael Mayer, professional football player. <laughs> That's good gene. That's a good gene pull right there. <laughs> Thank you. There are a couple of really, really nice families that I know over in northern Kentucky. Uh, there's some more folks from Finley Market just went by, and I'm trying to figure out. That's is this COA? COA, I believe. Okay. But I, yeah. And then you've got, the, uh, you've got the 513 relief bus coming up here. Uh, which has just started going out in the community and uh, really getting people to some resources that they might need in terms of housing, health, and all kinds of issues like that. I love when we talk to a player who grew up around this area, right. knows this area, and, and sort of gets it 
<laughs> without having to be introduced to it. Right. I mean, you, know you talked I mean? about Ken Griffey's first opening day in Cincinnati. I was also at that game at the old Riverfront Stadium. That was a good game to be that at, That was an amazing game. It up. rained, but... I my my gosh! I was lucky. I was in the green seats. Do you remember Ooh, the green remember seats? Of course, box? yeah. You had a little bit of cover. Uh, yeah. In yeah. the green seats there, so yeah, that was nice. We okay. have the, the Viking, Viking helmet. helmet. Yes, there Love it is. Love that. That's fantastic. That's a good float right there. We saw Karen Forgus earlier today was talking about the Jake Fraley bobblehead. Yes. It's one of the first bobbleheads. I think not this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, the seventh and eighth. And it's. It's Jake in the cape okay. and the Viking helmet, That's, and it is a great-looking bobblehead. I cannot wait to see it. I really can't. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful horse and carriage display coming up here at Rodeo Farm. I guess that was Sinorama. I want to give them a shout-out. Sinorama that had the Viking. This is Rodeo Farm with the horse-drawn carriage and the beautiful girls. You see those little gals riding yes. those horses up front? Wasn't that great? That was really cool. I love all the roses. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. Good on them. That's really beautiful. <laughs> There's the Dragonfly Foundation and the little caboose float. They are one of the most special organizations in our area. And no one will ever forget what Marty Brenneman yes. did after that game. For the Dragonfly Foundation. Remember, he said, if you raise enough money, I yep. will shave my head. And he is a man of his word. And he did. I tell you what, I watched that on television with a couple of friends. Yeah. We were crying like babies. Well, and he was. He was so swept yes. up in it emotionally and knowing what, what Dragonfly does for children who are just going through the yeah. unimaginable and their, they, and their they families. They have cancer. They yeah. have cancer and their families find strength, courage, and joy through the Dragonfly Foundation. Gummer's finding some joy, giving them high fives down there. That's really sweet. You want to learn more about them? Dragonflytrain.com. And maybe you can help. Just special. Very special. Yes. There's the Huseman Group with an antique 1928 steak bed truck. What is a steak bed truck? I don't know. I Let's don't either. Get a look at that. It I would like to know more. That's really cool. Ah. Well, There's there you the go. steak bed truck. That's it. Oh, there That's you go. Answer. Look at look at that. Look at that <laughs> image right there. Look at those kids. Yeah, I ready. love the face paint that they've got on. That's awesome. And the cool shades. Very nice. Very nice. So this is still the Huseman group with the steam coming out. There they are. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> those girls are looking good. Oh, that's funny. That's so good. Now, what I'm starting to wonder is we're getting to the point where most of the parade goers and the entries have left Finley Market yet. And I don't know the answer to that. I don't know. We've, they are still, still, they're still leaving Finley Market. Hey, so can I give a shout out? I, can I, Please. So there's the Huseman group with that smoke coming out of here. That is the Claremont Northeastern Marching Rockets. And my nephew is in that band. Come on with it. My nephew, Ethan. Get after it, Claremont Ethan. Claremont Northeastern, 75 members of, under the direction of Chris Moore. The band has performed in Toronto, Chicago, and Disney World, just to name a few. Ethan and uh, my nephew Chad and uh, niece Rose, their kids, Ethan, Jacob, and Colin, just moved to this area. And Ethan is loving being in the band. Well, and we are so proud of him. Beyond just playing, they've obviously got the choreography down, too. They were just a hipping and a hopping and <laughs> everything else when they got to the corner. They there. were, and they've got the Cincinnati Reds logos on the tuba. They are ready. They brought it. Sheila Gray, you were a clarinet player, were you not? I was. Uh -huh. And uh, you know what? We we had some pretty elaborate dance routines when I was in the Sydney High School marching band. Well, yes. look out. Absolutely. Yeah, that was that was uh, longer ago than I would like to say. <laughs> However, it was one of the best times of my life. I loved being in the marching band and playing at the football games and marching in the parades. Yep. There's one something the about finding fun times your people. Life. You can yeah. find your people. That's right. You I gotta, can find my you gotta people. You got to find your people. And it was great. This band sounds wonderful. Claremont Northeastern doing a wonderful job. I think I'm going to need Gummer to do a little marching. He has not done any marching yet. No, we have not seen the Gummer march. Look at march. the clarinet player. See, they're swinging. Oh, they're, they're getting, getting it. If I were going to hand you a clarinet right now, what would you play? Just long train running. 
long train running, baby. Every time during a break in the football game, we were playing long train running. I, I answered that too fast. You, I mean, you didn't even have to think. That was like a reflex. <laughs> Holy oh, God. the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum has the old time in there. They are out there. red stockings out there for the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. Look at Gummer. Look at Gummer. He's like a yeah. major Red. The man is a major Red. I knew he was going to march if I asked. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. Do it, Mark. If he drops that microphone, I'm pretty sure he's in trouble with engineering. <laughs> he's got to fill out a form. Good job, Gummer. Oh! Look at you. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> Look at you, Gummer. Put him in the flag core. <laughs> Good job, Gummer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we talk about the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum, it is such a special place because the history of of the Reds is the history of baseball. Yeah, this is right. where it started. And when you when you see what they've got at the museum, I'm not kidding you. It's as it's it's like you're at Cooperstown. It's that nice, and they got that great new exhibit. Oh right my now. gosh, yeah, the long ball, yeah. all about the great home runs of Reds history. So you know what? Some of those great players are uh, in our trivia questions today. You want me to read the next one? Yeah, why don't you cut loose with this one? Who was the first president to throw out a first pitch? Wow. The first U.S. president to throw out a first pitch at a Cincinnati Reds game. I'm wondering. Oh, just just a jet, a first pitch in general. Oh, okay, okay. It didn't have to be at a Reds first game. First pitch in general. Oh, okay. Wow. That opens it up a bit. Yeah. Because I was going to go with maybe one of the presidents. I was going to go Taft. Taft. I was going to go Taft. Taft. I was. Totally. I wonder if it was Taft anyway. You know what? Though. Let's just stick with Taft and see what okay. happens. Okay, we're going to, but we're going to have to let you wait and yep. think about that for a few minutes. And don't we... Google it. Yeah, Please. no, don't Google the it. That's trivia not questions fair. were a lot more fun when there was no Google. That's right. That's you right. had to There's, work for it. Go get an encyclopedia. Yeah, we just saw a new riff distilling go by, and now we've got Cincinnati Beverage Company with Little Kings. Remember little, those Little Kings? Little Kings. And Hootie Delight. <laughs> uh, Hootie Pole, Vintage Van, a Shaneling Grain Truck, and the Little Kings mascot. There he is. Little Kings. I wonder how you, you get the honor of wearing the Little King's head. That's quite oh, a thing. Yeah. That's quite a thing there. <laughs> Love the Little Kings. I'm so glad they brought him back. I really am. All right. I, I need to prep the Gummer. Gummer, I am prepping you right now because we are just a couple of entries away from Dance Flash Fusion. Okay? Oh, there they are. Yeah. They, they will be coming your way. But before Look that, I want to talk about. Now, is that the Skywalker? Is that is that where we've got a lot of the families of current Look. Reds players hanging out? Uh, that's the Skywalk right over there, isn't it? No, I think it's it's straight across here. Oh, it is. That's yeah. the Weston. Yeah. Okay, that's, you're that's, right. That's where some of the current Reds families are maybe experiencing opening day for the very first time. Yeah, Karen Forgus, when she was down with Which us at the really Great cool. American Ballpark today, she said that a lot of the Reds, their young families, are going to be watching the parade with us today. All right, Gummer, I'm going to need to see you join this routine. I believe my friend Emily Buckley is out there somewhere. <laughs> If you can find Emily, she will help you, Gummer. She will help you. They have a fantastic routine every year for opening They're day. Awesome. They never, never disappoint us. And their mission, by the way, they don't just love to dance. They also raise money for those underserved in our community. Look, they even said, hey, Gummer! <laughs> Get out there, Gummer. Get with them. That a boy. <laughs> Reminds me of it. Reminds me when Patrick Swayze and uh, and uh, Chris Farley <laughs> were on uh, on Saturday that. Night Live. But he's the, but he's Swayze. Yeah, he's, he's Patrick Swayze. Swayze. Gummer, you are Patrick Swayze. That was amazing. Hey, Gummer. look, there's the Eat More Chicken Cow from Chick Fil A. <laughs> They always do quite a job in terms of their setup for the parade as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. They do They've good got, work. They're, they're filled with mascots and team members and kids, all Reds accessories, and that's fun. Let me ask you right now. Does any place put their employees, their team members, mm -hmm. through 
kindness training better than Chick-fil-A. Uh, I have never met a rude person no, who works at Chick-fil-A. Me neither. Ever. No, I haven't either. They're amazing. They are amazing. And efficient. Thank you very all much. get out. They sure are. There's Miami Valley Gaming. Oh, there they, they are. The Joe Nuxall Miracle Heck League yeah. and the Joe Nuxall Foundation. I think I saw Tyler up there in the back somewhere. They've got kids from Madison Elementary with them. There and they Jim are. Nuxall is on board, too. There they are. And Joey the Can-Do Kangaroo. And John is, is with there. Kim right now, I believe. Oh, yeah. good. Kim, how's it been going today? Fantastic. Doesn't get any better than this. I mean, beautiful day, beautiful crowd, great people, great town. I ask you all the time, but but remind people why opening day means so much. Uh, you know, to my dad, you know, it was, it was his day, start of a new year. Always thought we we're going to win the World Series every year. So, uh, yeah, it's special every single year. Hard to believe it's been uh, 16 years now. Since Tell me about awesome. the foundation. How you guys been uh, doing? We're doing awesome. We got the Miracle League going, character fund going, scholarship fund. Hope to build a new uh, gym someday. All is well. Appreciate Kim. Channel 12 support, man. Thank you very much, Thank Kim. You. Enjoy Thank the you. day. Thank you. And he's got his beautiful wife, Bonnie, riding alongside. There's Joe on a screen. Uh, and all those little... Wonderful Miracle League kids. It's as special as a special a place in this town as anywhere you'll go mm -hmm. when you see the, the the happiness and the joy experienced by the yeah. players on that. They field. call it the Joy Factory for yes, a reason. Yes, they do. They sure. So do. Uh, we got to take a quick word from our sponsors now. <laughs> You know the Muffin Man? He lives on Drury Lane, but he works at the Little Debbie Bakery. Only the Muffin Man can bake this much flavor into every Little Debbie Mini Muffin. With scrumptious ingredients and fresh baked taste, they're the mini muffins everybody loves. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. He only bakes Little Debbie Mini Muffins. You're watching the 105th Findlay Market Opening Day Parade live from downtown Cincinnati on Local 12. Bob Herzog and Sheila Gray with you, and we are having a blast once again this year. Amen to that. Sipsy Klein rolling by here at Fifth and Vine, and folks from Alta Fiber uh, right behind. They're, they're staying well connected to the rest of the parade. You see what I'm saying? You see what yes, I'm saying? Yes, that's, that's good, Bob. Thank you very much. That's why I get the big buck, Sheila Gray. <laughs> uh, it's been a great day out here. Up to 50 degrees now. We're starting to warm up a little bit. Just a uh, couple of blocks away, there's a huge party going on at the banks with thousands of people there. They think 100,000 people downtown today for the opening day parade because it's the best day there is in Cincinnati. I am telling you, because of how spring break lined up yeah. and because of last year's team, and I think we're I think we're going to get over 100,000. Yeah, I think we are, too. It just I think feels we like that to me. You know, it's funny what uh, Kim was talking about, his dad, Joe Nuxall, was just what I was telling you this morning. Every year. Every year, we're going <laughs> to win the World Series. That's Hope right. Springs Eternal on opening day. There's the Rosie the Reds. Rosie Reds. They're going to be walking along with a big old truck and Carrying the banner. Last year, by the way, they donated $20,000 to the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and $15,000 in equipment to local youth teams. How That's great is fantastic. That? You know, these parades really started with the Reuters organizations. Rosie stands for Reuters Organized to Stimulate Interest and Enthusiasm. And there were all these different Reuters clubs back in the day, uh, and they all were... Um, promoting their own entities and Findlay Market Reuters was the biggest strongest one and that's how the Findlay Market opening day parade started because when the other Reuters kind of fell off in the parade Findlay Market kept it going and really took it over that is one of the best acronyms I've ever seen in my life yeah <laughs> to stimulate interest and enthusiasm yeah but the Rosie so Reuters good. have been around not not quite as long as the Findlay Market Reuters were since 1964. That's the Kent County Marching Band right there, I believe. 250 musicians strong. You've got students from Simon Kenton and Dixie Heights and Scott Beachwood, Lloyd, and Holmes. That's fantastic. They have yep. six different band directors. Wow. And this is the first year they've combined, which I think is a fantastic idea. You well, know? and the coordination you've yes. got to have to pull that off successfully. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. They sound fantastic. Fantastic. You know, a lot of schools are cutting back on music resources and things like that. To, to see them put the commitment into 
a huge combined band like this, I think that's amazing. They find a way. You know what? They found a way. They absolutely did. And they sound great. Yes, they do. I do love some percussion. And Out there's FC Cincinnati. There's Gary. Hello, Gary. <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> Gary's excited. Another great professional team in town. They're number one right now in MLS. And they have sort of a mini version of the parade each and every home game at the Fortress that is TQL Stadium as they march over from Washington Park before each game. What an amazing story the rise yes. of FC Cincinnati has been. If you have not been Go. to their march over from Washington Park, I'm telling just to you. see all the different fan groups. Yep. The smoke bombs, the chants, and the songs. It's really something to see. It's a lot of fun. Well, I know we have you know so many, obviously, hardcore baseball fans watching right now. And maybe they go, well, I'm just not a soccer person. Oh, it I'm doesn't matter. You, just you go. gotta, You got to go. You just have to you go. You just got to go. Yeah. There's a, a Ohio 811. Uh, promoting call 811 before you dig. Before you dig. So you don't uh, hit an electric line there. It's very important. When yeah. I was a kid, I dug a hole in my backyard for no reason. I just kept digging. <laughs> Did you think you were going to go somewhere? Probably. I didn't Would call you? anybody. <laughs> I probably should have called them. Like, kid, don't dig that hole. That is funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's true. I love that shirt there with the Ohio with the mustache. I have not seen that red shirt No, that before. is pretty slick. That's I like that, cool too. One. I do. I like that quite a bit. Yeah. Well, you, you know. You see all kinds of neat things down here, don't you? That's one of the things with the Reds is they, they just, their, their reach is the state of Ohio. It's West yeah. Virginia. It's Kentucky. It's Indiana. It's everybody. Yeah. Are those people on unicycles? Yes, it's the Crosby Elementary Pop Cycles Unicycle Club. Fourth and fifth graders from Crosby Township in western Hamilton County. Look at them. Wow. I kind of want them to do a little thing right there in the square. I want them to do a little, you know, a little ditty, a little whatever you do on a unicycle. Yeah. I I mean, the fact that they're just up on that thing, Bob, is enough for me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's impressive as heck, isn't it? Yes. And especially, you know, they're, they're, when they're holding on to other people on unicycles. That's neat. Way to go, kids. That's 44th and 5th graders. Yep. How about that? That's a, what a cool club. Again, find your people. Yeah. Find your people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, are you a unicycle person? Okay, we have a club we, for We you. have a club for that. <laughs> so good. I love it. Yep, I absolutely too. love it. Me too. I, how they stay up on that, I, I do know. not know. I'm really worried about them falling. <laughs> yeah. they, did, they did a great job. Oh, my goodness. Look at those young people. Yeah. They are ready to play so right this, now. Is this Cumulus Media? I see 96 Rock. I don't know if our is friend that, Bridget is down there. There's George There's Foster. George. There he is. You know, he just had heart surgery. I, like, what, five weeks ago? Five, six yeah. weeks ago? He's, he's doing well. John Gum, can you catch up with George Foster in this 25-inch biceps? <laughs> what do you think about this whole thing tonight? Uh, just a great gathering. Opening day is always a great happening here. Be a holiday and love to see all these kids out here and especially the fans of the Reds. They're great supporters. What What are some memories you have of, of opening day, the start of the season? We we'll always have a full house, always ready to play, and always have great support from the fans. And opening day in Cincinnati, I mean, how do you sum it up? It's special, isn't it? It is, it is special. The greatest thing that does transpire, it is special, and I'm glad that it's a great tradition. Final question, do you feel the love when you come through here today? Oh, yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's electrifying, electrifying. George, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, John Gum, I don't know if you can hear me, buddy, but I think right across the street from where you were standing as you were talking to George, I swear I saw Jim Tarbell. And he came up here into he, he where is. the tent where we were stay where we're sitting right now, and he played harmonica. He played "Take Me Out to the Ball Game" earlier. It was fantastic. And he normally walks in the parade. He just didn't think he was going to be able to, to do the whole parade. I'm not sure if we can get a track him down a little later. But he Jim was still Tarbell, dressed up in his top hat, he, he though. Was ready, like he but. always is. Okay, before before we get to Mr. Tarbello, I'm told we got to go down to the ballpark. Hold steady over there, Gummer. Let's send it down to Chris. Yeah, we're out here with Red starting outfielder Jake Fraley. Jake, another opening day is here. 
the anticipation, the excitement take me through it as you guys finally start your season? Yeah, man, it's 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 fun. It's special. Uh, you know, nobody does it like Cincinnati for baseball in general, really, but uh, more specifically to today being opening day. So it's uh, it's an exciting day for all of us. You've experienced opening days in other cities. How does this one compare? What makes it different? Oh, it, there is no comparison. This is, I mean, this is the pinnacle of it. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. This team has so much hype around it. What do you guys have to do? I know it's one of 162, but to go out there and, and start putting that hype to rest and make it reality. Yeah, I, I've said it a few times over the last year and change, but I think we just have to prove ourselves right. Um, and I think for us, we know what we can do. We know what we can do when we show up every day. Um, we put in the work. We have a core group of guys and staff that have been together for a couple years now, which I think is vitally important. So to have a front office that values that and values the people that are in the, you know, in the clubhouse are, is huge. Um, but to just prove ourselves right, like we know what we can do, and, and for us just to show up and trust that. For the fans out there that haven't seen you guys play yet, they'll see you later on today. Tell me, what is this team all about? Uh, we're about each other. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a, that's the best way to put it. Um, we last year there was a big key to our team, and it was uh, there was never just one man that was kind of making it work for us. There was always somebody that was stepping up every single night that was you know different, game to game. And I think for us, that's that's going to continue. And it's a team effort, and we all lean on each other. You know, uh, this is a hard game. So when that you know when that particular guy doesn't get the job done, we, we have trust that the guy in the on deck circle is going to get it done. Um, and same, you know, vice versa with the pitching staff. So um, I think just we're we're here for each other, and uh, we're excited to be able to put you know that type of product out you know for this city. Last question for me: favorite opening day memory, either as a player or as a kid. What's your favorite one? Ah. Uh, I mean, for me, obviously as a player, it was experiencing all of this for the first time uh, back when I was traded. Um, because, like I said, I, I I know I'm a I'm a you know a Cincinnati Red, and um, you know my, me and my family's heart is in this city. Uh, it has been for the last you know since I've gotten here for the last years. Um, so I, I understand it can come off as kind of biased, but it really is a special thing to be able to be a part of it here. It's uh, and it's memories that me and my family are going to hold on and cherish to for the rest of our lives. All right, he's Jake Fraley. You'll see him out there when the Reds finally take the field and get this thing underway later on today. We cannot wait to watch him play. And we're back here at Fountain Square in downtown Cincinnati, and John Gov has a special guest. Uh, you know, it would not be opening day without the one and only Jim Tarbell. Jim, how you, you're not walking in the parade this year. No, I've got some lung issues, and I just thought I was maybe pushing it a bit. So, But I could not stay home, so I just came to take this spot and wave and shout. And yes, and, and play harmonica earlier for Bob yeah, Herzog, too. That was, oh, I love that. That was just can, Are you able to do that now? For, do you have the harmonica? Sure. Can you, can you, can you give us a little take me out to the ball game? We'll try to, in a quiet moment here, we'll see if the, we can, if we can uh, maybe get the harmonica. If you can find it, go ahead and look for it. Now, opening day, you're always out here. Yeah. You're always with us. We're glad that you're out here with us today. And what, what's opening day mean to you, Jim? Oh, it's, it's the, the heart and soul of the Cincinnati. You know, it's uh, so, so important and so much what we're all about in Cincinnati, the spirit, you know, that whenever you're feeling a little bit down, you kind of think about this event and that puts you right back where you want to be, you know. How, how many opening days have you been out here for now? Do you have any Six. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We always want to see you out here. Let's let the band go by. Yeah. And once they get up here, give me a little rendition yeah. of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. All right. Go for it. Wait, you had to compete with the lawn mowers and the band there, but hopefully, hopefully we heard that. Jim, always a pleasure to talk to you on opening day. As I said, it would not be opening day if you weren't here with me today. So I'm glad 
Glad you're out here with us Thank today, you. Jim. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, much, guys. All right, we'll My send it back pleasure. to you guys. My pleasure. That's perfect. <laughs> Only in Cincinnati. <laughs> and there's some friends from Key Bank. Uh, we were lucky enough to get in the Key Bank suite this morning at Great American Ballpark God to bless get you. warm. So thank you, Key Bank. Yeah. It's, it might be the only reason we're still sitting here now. Oh, but their float has a replica of the World Series trophy. Heck Take yeah, a look. It does. Wouldn't it be nice to bring another oh, one of those yes, home? Yes, 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 yes. 1990, the last one time, day. right? Yes. Wire to wire, team. Wire to wire. A lot yep. of people. This portion of Local 12's coverage of the 2024 opening day parade is brought to you by Tri Health. Tri Health. Be seen, be heard. Be healed. <laughs> the Sin City Shakers are down there shaking their boo thing. Well, so where, I didn't know where you were going with that. Shaking their boo thing. Okay. Uh, dancers who promote diversity, inclusion, and fun. Love, I like the love it all that around. Room. That sounds good. Heck yeah, get after it. Okay, the answer to the trivia question, yeah. who was the first president? We both instinctively went Taft for we the said, first pitch. Yeah, William Howard Taft of yeah. Ohio. Yeah. But uh, we don't know if we're right or not. We're we have just no guessing idea. about it. But the first president to throw out a first pitch I'm in the, these United States. Oh, look at us. Woo! Gosh, oh we're God. smart, aren't we? Man, that was unreal. <laughs> Where did, now, let now me, when was it and, and where? Yeah, and Dougie, us, tell us. Yeah, we're Doug, curious. Doug's our executive producer up there. Give us the when, where, what, and how, that's, buddy. That's unbelievable. There's the Flying Pig Marathon. We came up with that. Which will be coming up here the first Sunday in May. And they've got statues from the Big Pig gig. I think Chris Rankin and Kyle and Skeet might both be training for this. Are I, they really? I don't know if they're both doing the full oh, or they're doing a half. Them. I think Chris did like all five of the races last year okay. or something insane like that. Oh, my gosh. Do you know the Flying Pig Marathon raises more than a million dollars for 300 local charities? A ton of charities benefit. Look at the big pig gig pigs. I yep. loved it when we had that art project around Cincinnati and we had the pigs everywhere. Wasn't it great? It was a great idea. It really was. And I love still seeing the pigs in different places. Every like, once in a while you go to Oriental Walk and they've got the they've got the uh, the pig out there with the rickshaw. There's some good pigs on there. And I like when they do. Remember the mustaches, too? Yes. And all the mustaches oh, yes. pop up around town. That, for the all-star game. Yeah. yeah. And remember they even had like a, a like mustache and a hat on top of the Scripps building yes, over there do. downtown. Yes, I should. That do. was amazing. Yeah. I thought they should have kept that up there forever. Yep. I yeah, really yeah. did. That was cool. That was very cool. And that, that spot right there, that says so much for what this, this experience is because you had what looked like grandma was out there yep. with the kids out there, with mom and dad out there, and that's what this day is all about. That's what it's That is what it's all about. It's family. It's tradition. It's celebration. There's that Muffin Man from Little Debbie. Do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> I do not know the Muffin well, Man. Well. He lives on Drury Lane. That's what I've heard. <laughs> And apparently, you can tell we've been talking for a while when we start like reciting <laughs> songs from childhood. <laughs> apparently, you can now get mini muffins yeah. with six in the pouch. Okay, well, don't sing it or we'll get That's in trouble. Unbelievable! So, well, I'm six saying. in the pouch. Oh my goodness! Oh. So the Cincinnati Public Schools marching band is on the way. Uh, but first, 8K Construction Company that has been renovating buildings over on. Elder Street at Finley Market. You know, the, the transformation of the area around Finley Market has been nothing short of amazing for me to see in the 25 years I've lived here. Agreed. Agreed. It's wonderful. So, again, we have a combined marching band coming through. Uh, as we did in Northern Kentucky, the Cincinnati Public Schools have combined Hughes, Taft, Aiken, Gamble, and Woodward High School students to create a great band with a great sound. And first year for them to be together like that's obviously their first opening day together. That's fantastic. Yeah. The 150 strong under the direction of Joshua Johnson. 
I just think it's really neat that these these school districts have have found a way yes. to save these band programs to make sure you know because maybe not as many kids are coming out. We we talk about it a lot when it comes sure. to sports. It just feels like there are so many different things to get involved with now. Right. You know what I mean? So you're spread a little bit thinner. Right. You don't get as many people to come out. Yeah, and but I you think with sports too, a lot of kids are like sort of forced to pick one. Yeah. So then maybe you're not in the band and sports, or maybe not in the theater and the band. So right. it's nice that they have found a way, as you said. And there's Wings and Ring. Wings and Was Ring. that Ronnie Oster? Yes, they've got Ron Oster on their float. Hey, Ron. I love that guy. He also does so much for the uh, Joe Nuxall Miracle League and comes out to different events. Ron Oster, one of my all-time favorite Reds. When I got, I got hurt when I was playing not hold baseball, probably yeah. second or third grade. I took a ball off my ear. Oh, knocked ah. half of my earlobe off. They had to stitch it back on. True story. What? Yeah. And he... somebody had a connection to Ron Oster. Yeah. And he sent me a signed autograph telling That's me to get awesome. well. It was that like the awesome. coolest thing ever. Look at that Dalmatian sitting up there on the classic, classic Coachman Farm. Horse and carriage, that's very nice. With we the have Clyde seen a Sales. lot of Clydesdales in this thing. We have today. I love that. That's beautiful, man. The sports and Clydesdales just go together, they Bob. They do. And there's, okay. That young lady's got to be cold. I'm just saying, oh, my it's goodness. not that warm out here. No, it is not. Get, get you a coat. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yeah, shivery, shivery. I'm, I'm cold for her right now. Okay, we've been talking a lot about the 1999 Reds team we today, Bob. We have. We so have. our next trivia question is this. What <laughs> nautical classic <laughs> premiered in 1999? Oh, that's an easy. What nautical that's a classic? Gimmick. I mean, it's got to be what SpongeBob I think it is, right? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Come on. Is that real? Really? Is that what it is? Isn't it SpongeBob? It's got to be SpongeBob. I don't nautical know. Classic. Oh, no, Little Mermaid. No, I mean, that was would have been earlier. Yeah, it's SpongeBob then. What, what could it's it be SpongeBob. Titanic? When did Titanic come out? The movie that, Titanic. No, that was before. Was that earlier too? Yes. Okay. That was when I was still in West Virginia, okay. and I moved here in 99. All right. I'm saying SpongeBob Square. All right. Man, you, I mean, oh, you they're went, throwing baseballs. You Watch right out, Bob. Heads that. Up. What, who's throwing baseballs? <laughs> Holy <laughs> this Moses. Boats from TLG Peterbilt are wow. throwing stuff out into those the crowd. Those are good hats. Those like are those strong. Hats. Yeah. Them are nice. Kevin McCoy Band is performing on the trailer. <laughs> I love it when there's a band performing <laughs> on a float. I do, too. Riding it's right so down the good. street. <laughs> that is amazing to me. Oh, I love it. I Go love it. Reds. I, I may need to find out where they purchased those hats. I might need one you of know, those. I've been, I feel like I've been seeing more of those with the Bengals' success yeah. and the Reds. Finally a hat big enough for my head. <laughs> Looking good. The White Oak High School marching band now making their way around as well. Second year in the opening day parade from Morristown, Ohio, That's under great. the direction of Alex McKenna. They look very patriotic. Yeah. I love their uniforms kind of match the colors of opening day. That's wonderful. It's 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 funny. There's something that's um, very small town about a parade, mm -hmm. but we do it so big. Do, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yes. That it's it's it's, an, it's almost an oxymoron. I tell you. I know. You. I love it. There's the Green Township Professional Firefighters with a Sutphin fire truck. Firefighters Local 2927, and they brought along their spouses and their children today. This local firefighters association has raised more than two hundred thousand dollars for local charities in the past eighteen years. So they're not just going out and saving lives. They're also, oh, by the way, raising money for charity. That's, That's Pretty great. Making the whole community a better place. And I have a very special place in my heart for Green Township. So God yes. bless you guys. Thanks hey, for man, we danced on one of their fire trucks, man, for a dance party Friday. Dag on, that? Dag on right we did. Yes, we did. One might say the <laughs> high point in the history of Dance yes, Party Friday. Yes, it was. And good morning, Cincinnati. A little Bridgetown funk yep. coming at you. Uh, there's some young people with a military future. The Pendleton County High School Navy Junior ROTC. Very I love nice. that young people make this choice yep. to serve. Very impressive. Very impressive. Hey, look at everybody shaking hands, high-fiving. Just the best. Just the best. Cincinnati Fire and EMS looks like they're making their way around at this point. And a group from the USS Cincinnati. I believe that's going to be making its way up toward uh, Westchester, right? Yeah, remember they're up at Voice of America Park. They're yeah. going to put a huge display. Uh, and this is this right here is a scaled down replica of the USS Cincinnati, but they actually got some pieces from the submarine itself 
and they're going to create sort of a park with a museum type yeah. atmosphere up at there up there at the Voice of America Park. And it's I think gonna, it's going to be, be like a splash park yes. kind of thing too. It, uh, I mean, it it's looks, really going to be cool. Look yeah. at this little girl. I just love her. If it all comes together the way they hope to make it come together, it's going to be spectacular. Yeah, it's been a lot of work it really too. Is. I know it's been a lot of work for those. And folks. there's some uh, some folks from the submarine force riding by. There's some folks from the Wave Foundation and our new Port Aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. They just opened up a new exhibit over there dedicated to the octopus mm -hmm. and the octopi and all of the crazy things that live under the yeah. water. And they put a reds, reds hat on the shark. They're also celebrating 25 years. So you have the 1999 team. 25 years. Yep. You got the Newport Aquarium, 25 years. Yep. I have been here 25 years. Good golly. Why aren't you out there? You should have a float. <laughs> all kinds of good Where's things the Sheila happening. Gray it's float? No, 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 no. Where no, is it? Okay. Here's the East Central High School dance team. Get after it, why don't you? Followed by the Trojan Band and Guard. Got 56 dancers, 36 musicians, and the seniors from East Central High School dance team, the yeah. EC dancers are going to be defending their third national title this month. What? Way to go. East Central came out go strong. Go get them dancers. Yeah, a lot of folks there. Megan Greisbert is leading the band from St. Leon, Indiana. So happy to see them here today. So when you were in the band, yes. <laughs> did you enjoy did you enjoy marching in parades? I did. And it's not the easiest thing to I do. I wouldn't imagine it is. <laughs> you got to memorize a song. Yeah. You got to keep your steps together. You got to keep your line straight. Don't step in a hole. When you're turning a corner, you have to keep it, stay in a line. Yeah. Yeah. It was not an easy thing to do, but it was a lot of fun. Heck yeah. Fourth of July, guys passed out because <laughs> it would be hot. A little bit warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got we got the Sherwood Elementary Rap and Ropes team heading okay. our way. Okay, a jump rope team comprised of second to sixth graders. This thing started 30 years ago. That's now. fantastic. Yeah. That's a great little club to be in. I want to see J Gummer jump some ropes. You want to talk about getting some cardio. Yeah. You go ahead and you start jumping a little bit. Yeah. You can get some great. Oh, show those guns, girl. Just you show flexing those guns. out for us. Oh, <laughs> that, my man just did a crisscross. Did you see that? Can you <laughs> yeah. crisscross? Oh. I cannot crisscross. Oh, man. Crisscross, little double jump kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I could jump rope anymore. It's been a long time since I tried. <laughs> I know what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're bringing. Let's oh, see. oh, get it. it. She's get double it, get jumping. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Are you kidding me right Go, now? Go, girl. Heck yeah. Yes. That was great. Do it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at stop. that. Good Look job. Look at Gummer. Look at Gummer. Look yeah, at Gummer. Yeah, Gummer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That She's like, please give me back my rope. <laughs> please. <laughs> What's this guy's? <laughs> He's doing that little. What? I don't even know what you call what that. What is that? He's got to ask him what he calls that. <laughs> <laughs> that was strong. Good performance by the Sherwood <laughs> Elementary Rap and Ropes team. I, I call that a lower spinal injury is what yeah. I call that. Hey, who's next? It's Bootsy, baby. Oh, boy. The one and only. The yeah. one and only. The King Records Legacy Float with a Bearcus Circus performer. Is Boot up there? I don't see him, I don't think. Uh, he was supposed to be. Otis Williams is supposed to be there, too. Because normally, if Boot is somewhere, you can see yeah, Boot. Yeah, but like I, don't, you know. I do not see him. I wonder if he's in the truck. We got somebody dressed up like James Brown, which is pretty great. Very cool. Founded in 1943 by Sid Nathan, and I know they just got some funding this week from Cincinnati City Council to work on the King Records building over there and turning that into a museum. I feel like we have talked about that for so long. I, I, we wa have. I want so much for their plans to come to fruition yeah. because I know how important that is, not only in the musical legacy of this area, but in the musical legacy of just sort of crossing some, some racial right. lines and things. They, they did a lot in that building. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's our friends from Radio 1 over there, The Wiz, Cincy's R&B, The Buzz, LeGrand, The Spanish Station. I don't know if our friend, there's Lincoln Ware. I was going to say, <laughs> where is my Lincoln Ware? There he is. Hi, Lincoln. Gummer, you got to get me some Lincoln wear. He may have gotten away. He may have been too <laughs> oh, fast. Too bad. Gummer's recovering from the jump rope. <laughs> we may, it may be a minute. There's the Mount St. Joseph University band. 
under the direction of Jocelyn Garrison. They got a nice little float working there for him, don't they? Yeah. That's good. Where do you go, Mount St. Joe? That's fantastic. Heck yeah. Who's that up there riding on the float? I'm not sure who's the, on top. Oh, that's awesome. Might be the current president of the university, but I'm not that's, sure. That is a great one, yeah, though. I'm not 100% sure on that. And now it's time for a brief word from our sponsor. <laughs> what makes us human? Humanity is found in the actions that redefine care. Actions that we at TriHealth take every day. By seeing those who feel invisible, hearing needs that have been ignored, TriHealth is healing the body and the human spirit so all can know and live a better life. There's the taste of Belgium waffle ball float. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. Jean-Francois Fleche, the founder, is walking behind the float. I remember when he was making waffles in a tiny stand at the Hyde Park Market. Yep. And now he's got an empire. And I said they've got some out, outside of our Columbus, area again to get further some, north now. I think yeah. there's one in Indianapolis maybe. Uh, several around the tri-state, known for the waffles, but so many good. And that red velvet the they make up oh today. Oh, my gosh. Lord of mercy. I want some frites real bad now. That's the Groove Crew we're looking at right there, a community-based adult dance group. Award-winning entry from last year's parade, in fact. Hey, I... Why do I not belong to one of these dance Why groups? don't you? I don't know, because I really want to do that. Look at... <laughs> I can't dance, though, Bob. We're going to get you a jump rope and get you in one of these dance groups, Sheila Gray. Go, ladies, go! Get after Looking it. Looking good. I love the purple and red together, and the red, the red and white striped stockings. Those are great. It's so good. And everybody's having fun. Everybody's having fun. You want a way to stay warm in a T-shirt? There you dance go. Dance for about a couple of miles down yeah. the street. That'll take care of it. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, and our friends from St. Veronica Catholic School are coming. They play those baseball players from different decades. They're always doing some great history. Lebanon uh, High School's marching band. They're 102 strong. They've performed in a lot of different competitions. They've been to Disney World. And by golly, they're in the Finley Market opening day parade Oh, today. my gosh. And what are they doing? They're playing Hang On Sloopy. I'm uh, also a Buckeyes fan, so you know I love some Hang I On I had a Sloopy. feeling you would. You're ready to almost come out of your seat for that one. I had a feeling yeah, you were. exactly. That's a pretty big size band they've got there at Lebanon nice High entry. School. Good for them. Sure is. Sure is. This is so much fun. The 105th annual Finley Market opening day. No one does opening day like Cincinnati does. Amen to that. You've got the block party for the Reds Community Fund happening a few blocks away. You've got the parade through the streets in front of at least 100,000 fans. Here comes Rheingeist. Many, many generations. And and I think we're going to go back down to Great American Ballpark now. Chris Rankel has someone special joining him right now. Yeah, we're here with Chris Welsh, the Chris and Chris show, as we'll call it here. Yeah, why not? Uh, you got one, you need two, right? I, you can never have too much, Chris. That's why I tell them back at the station, at least. This has been a highly anticipated red season. How are you feeling going into this opening day? I, I like the team. I, I like the way the, the organization has evolved into, you know, good prospects, good talent. Now they're at the big league level. You know, the one thing you don't want to let these young guys do is that we're missing a couple of guys in the lineup who are very good, solid players. You can't try to do too much. You've got, and I just talked to David Bell about that. Everybody's kind of got to go at their own pace and see where it lays out and know that eventually you're going to get those players back. How different is it? Last opening day, we weren't sure what this team was going to be. Obviously, all the prospects came up. We talked about a playoff push. When you have those expectations on you as a player, how different is that going into opening day? Can you put those beside, or you know, is it going to wear on you a little bit? I think there's two different types of, op uh, of expectations. One is to show yourself to be a major league player. Try to establish yourself as an everyday player or an every fifth day pitcher. And then the second level of expectations is to actually try to get your team to be winning. And that's the most important thing. It's more of a team expectation where if I don't do it, you've got to pick me up. And that's where we are right now with the Reds, that second level. And, you know, somebody's got to be the leader to kind of get them to do that. But it's important that everybody pick each other up. How important we've seen the last couple of years, these cold games in April and March, 
they come to play when you're talking about October. How important is it for these guys to get out to a hot start this year and play it out the rest? Well, first of all, it's not that cold. You're out here. I know. This is this perfect. <laughs> but I can tell you that, you know, the last two years, the Reds in the first 50 games each uh, totaled about 25 games under 500. So they did not get off to a good start last year. They did not get off to a good start the year before. I think it's very important. This is not the kind of team that has the firepower to just sit back and bomb you in the middle of the year. So a good start is important, and I think they've got the pitching to do that. You got a prediction for us this season? Uh, Chris Welsh is going to be here doing TV, radio, and pre and post uh, all year long. All right, I like that prediction. We're certainly happy he's here. Chris Welsh with us here on opening day. Let's send it back to Bob and Sheila. Uh, Chris Welch. That was a safe a prediction. Guy. That, that was, was a, a safe prediction. prediction. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We are looking pretty far down the street There's right now. Fiona we, we've and reached Fritz. one of those gaps, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we get a good look at Fiona headed our way. Several Fionas and Fritzes and everybody else in the hippo crowd, I guess. Yeah, the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden has a nice little entry there with the scooter pals and vans and Fiona. And Okay. It's time to answer a trivia question. Are we right? All right well, so we've okay. been talking about that 1999 team and everybody, team, yes. everything else that's hit 25 years old this year. And the question was, what nautical classic premiered in 1999 and without hesitation? I said SpongeBob SquarePants okay. without hesitation. Um, you know yeah. what? If I feel you good about so, my answer. I'm, gonna, I'm sticking yeah, with I'm not, I don't need to phone a friend or anything. All right. Let's okay. go. Let's see it. Is it SpongeBob? Ha! Wow. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Do not sing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Sorry. Uh, look at that. Look at all the little hippos. That's, That's great. so cute. Uh, it will be. Uh, we're coming up on Zoo Babies pretty soon, aren't we? That's right. Zoo, yeah. blooms, Zoo blooms in April. Yep. And then Zoo Babies always happens right around Mother's Day. You see in all the, all the things that nature does, the babies start coming. Why don't you explain that to us, <laughs> Sheila? We've only, we've only got about nine minutes left in the broadcast. Why don't you break Prince. it down? <laughs> You know, uh, the zoo's reptile house is the oldest zoo building in the entire country. I did, actually. 1875. You go and in our there. zoo is one of the first zoos in the country, wasn't it? Do they the have, zoo and botanical I, garden. I haven't been in the reptile house in a while. Do they still have the two, like, gators that sit in the yes. middle, sort of, with their yes. water around it? Yes. Yeah. And on the I snakes always surrounding the you. Yes. Yeah. I always There's that. the Cincinnati Circus. How about walking on stilts the entire parade? I, I don't know how they do that. I don't I really know either. Do not. Yeah. They love the Cincinnati Reds. They come down every year. There's somebody roller skating. Somebody else is juggling fire. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. That's a fantastic I spectacle. I love a circus. Yes, I do, too. I really do, too. Does that person have, like, a duck head rock walking out in front? You see that? I... Just got yeah, uh, it looks more like a swan, I think, or could a goose. Be a, could be a, could be. a goose. I just saw a bill. I, yeah. just, I just saw a bill. It's, yeah, that's a pretty cool-looking goose there. <laughs> as, as goose go, yeah, I the suppose. The walkers are doing a great job, though. You even have a trapeze artist on up you there. You do. Isn't that great? Those people Holy have Moses. a blast. They're very bendy, the circus people. Yep. And then you have the the uh, the Burkus brew that goes with the Cincinnati Circus. Yes. Burkus down in Ludlow. Very nice. Is she sort of done up like a like a like a trophy almost like a statue? You oh, see what I'm that saying? is kind of like what yeah. it looks like. Oh, what are we? Do we have our unicycle? Unicycle. We got We got to get this guy out with the uh, club we had earlier. Maybe he could uh, <laughs> you know give him some pointers. He's doing a great job. Yeah, he is. Juggling on stilts while walking in a parade. That's that's talent right that there, is baby. Madness is what it is. Oh, there's somebody making balloons formations. Love that. Hats. There's Ronald McDonald representing the Ronald McDonald House and all the good they do for families who have kids in the hospital. Yes, indeed. They always need volunteers to come over and cook the meals. Did you, did you see Ronald they're going to start? They're going to start serving up Krispy Kremes at some uh, McDonald's location. Oh, are they? No, I, I did I not see that. that. That sounds good. That might to be me. a thing. Look at Ronald. Hi, Ronald. <laughs> I think you have to go through a series of many tests to be Ronald. You probably do. Like that doesn't just happen. You don't. You don't just right. get that wig. <laughs> you got to earn that thing. 
That I, now, they said Grimace was going to be out there. You don't get to see Grimace I don't very see often. Grimace. But fortunately, we have something else purple coming up oh, instead. We, do. we <laughs> have the good, the good <laughs> folks from Elder High School and the marching band now making their way around. Got some, got some students from Seton out there That's as good. well under the direction of Susan Cassidy. The, the Panthers proudly marching out there from the west side now downtown. Speaking of tradition and generations of people. Oh, <laughs> you're going to go down to Great American Ball. You think seeing some of Great American Ballparks in present, go to the pit sometime and see a football game. Yeah, that's like they've got a really nice stadium <laughs> it's, now, too. It's just, it's legendary. There's yep. just no getting around it. It is. Whether you went there or you didn't go there, there's no denying it. Yep. And in this town, that's about the first question we're going to ask you. Yeah, where did you, you go to high, high school? school? It's so funny because I, I met someone recently, and I asked her where she went to high school. And she said, oh, you grew up in Cincinnati. I said, no, I just know what the question is. <laughs> you know is. the right question to ask. <laughs> oh. I, lifelong Ohioan. But that's great. Did not was not fortunate enough to grow up in Cincinnati. <laughs> There's the pedal wagon. Oh, oh boy. Hours of fun. Let and, me tell uh, you, stories have, have been told and memories have been made on that thing. Yeah, bet and MGM is partnering with the Pedal Wagon for the Finley Market opening day parade. Bet MGM now has that permanent spot over at the banks, along with Nation, Kitchen, and Bar. Uh, all in one roof, fantastic place, super food, TV screens, really great way to uh, pregame or maybe just watch the game over at the banks. I just want to. Gummer, we're going to send it back down to you, buddy, because we only have a few minutes left in our coverage here of the Finley Market Opening Day Parade. What's happening on the corner? What an opening day. I mean, this has been outstanding today. It's, it's tradition. It's family. I have not seen a sad person down here the entire time. This lady, you've been happy. Have you have. enjoyed the parade? I have. What, what's it been like for you today? It's been exciting. This is my first one ever. This is the first time you're here. What's your name? Where are you from? Michaela White. I'm from Rising Sun, Indiana. From Rising Sun. So you've enjoyed it today. It's been a lot of fun. And what do you guys think of the parade today? Was it fun? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Zoe. And your name? Jaden. And your name? Reagan. Oh, awesome. See, if you guys, what was your favorite part? Is there something that was really cool that you remember that was like the fire shooting out and no. nothing like that? Oh, you didn't like that? They didn't like that at all. Yeah. I really liked when the possum. It was really cute. The possum, yeah. I liked yeah. it when people was dancing. Yeah. When they were dancing, that was fun too. Did you see me dancing and jumping a rope? You missed that? Good thing. Good thing you missed it. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. I did it right there. So that's what it's about. It's about the kids. It's about family. It's about tradition. We have enjoyed it. We've had a good time down here, guys. And weather's not too shabby either. I've had fun. Have you guys had fun? They've had fun. They've enjoyed it here. It's been great down here. Bob, Sheila, another successful opening day. What can we say? We've had fun too, Gummer. It's been fun watching you down there talking to everybody, doing a little dance and doing a little marching as we watch the great parks coming by and the Rangers honored guard. It's wonderful to see. It's a wonderful experience for us. I can't believe we get to do this. I can't believe yeah. you and I have done this together for 10 years yes. to see the city, to see this whole region celebrate in this way each and every year is incredibly special. It's incredibly special. Our town is special. I'm always so... I, I, I love to see the pride in our community. Yep. The fact that people love living in Cincinnati, and we love welcoming everybody who wants to come here and visit, come here and live, come here and just experience a, a day of celebration and kindness. It's, it's a wonderful thing. It's such a gift, and it's a gift for me to sit here with you every year, Bob. I'm in... I feel very much the same way. And to know we're heading into a year where maybe, just maybe, the hope <laughs> from this day yes. will guide us through a season toward the playoffs. We were knock, we were knock, knock, knocking on that door last year. And perhaps this is the season where we knock it down as I look out at D'Artagnan, <laughs> that Xavier Musketeer that I love yeah, so you're, much. You're all a modern yeah, going indeed. by right at the right time. Xavier loves the Reds. Everybody, Everybody loves, loves the Reds. The Reds. It is, it is. How can you not? The first team in professional baseball. It might be the single most unifying force in this area. I think so. You know? Yeah. I mean, and I'm not, not taking anything away from any other teams in our area no. by any stretch, but it's a baseball town. This is where it started. 
It's where it started. Yeah, I, I, and it, it's so much tra- of our country's tradition started right here in Cincinnati. Amen. Hey, before yeah. we go, we do want to thank the absolute army of folks that make this thing happen, from Finley Market to Fountain Square to Great American Ballpark. That starts with the organizers, the people at Finley Market who put together this parade with so much pride. It's their gift to the city every single year. It's a lot of work in the entire tri-state, and we in particular are very grateful. We also want to thank the Cincinnati Police Department that makes it possible for us to take over this little corner of Fountain Square. We must thank our local 12 engineers and photographers getting all these signals from all these places to your home is no small job every year, and they do it on a very tight deadline. And thank you for watching. It is our pleasure to do this every year, to join you in celebrating our team. (laughs) We love you, Cincinnati. We love you, Cincinnati Reds. Go! Happy opening day!